and we should be live. Hi. <laughs> Good Friday, everyone, or happy Friday. Hey, yo. I guess technically Good Friday is a couple weeks, but I think every Friday is a Good Friday. Right. The only thing better than a Friday is a payday Friday. That's right. And that is today. Whoa, that was loud, wasn't it? Um, how is everybody doing on this fabulous Friday? Look, I'm using alliteration. And thank y'all for tuning in. I am not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I've studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is my wife, the sensational Shelly Eats Steak. Together, we host we like to call the Friday Night Feast, which is y'all are tuned into right now. Woo! We'll cook Andre, maybe a little snack, show y'all how we do it, and we spend our city even just chewing fat with all of our friends on the hungry board. Love to have you all over for dinner. Yes! Tonight's video. <sighs> Super excited. We did a practice run on it a couple of weeks ago. We a new version. <laughs> oh, it's a new version. Yeah, we, we've never done it this way before. Yeah. Oh, I guess I We're feel doing like skillet I have. pizzas. Yes. A new and improved version. Oh, a new and improved. Okay. Yeah, and of course, I think pizza always makes me happy. Yes. I love pizza, y'all. Uh, what? Tell me right now. What are your favorite pizza toppings? What so. You got? <laughs> so speaking of, what are we putting on the skillet pizza tonight? Well, I don't know if it's on camera right now, but I have my little warmer over there. Oh, yeah, that ain't warmer. I got some of that uh, pulled pork we made a couple weeks ago, I guess, really. Yeah? I took some leftovers, threw it in the freezer, and then we got some pepperoni. I got a jalapeno, serrano, and a habanero. They can't see that. You had to pull it up for them. We got a couple of jalapenos. <laughs> A serrano and a habanero what else is there and mushroom and one of our viewers said it'd be really good if we put some uh, bell pepper in it so i got a little sliver here we're gonna dice up and then i'm gonna also do my texas five spice of course some sofrito mm -hmm. and then y'all we got these very very delicate antique <laughs> tupperware <laughs> Tupperware of the South. <laughs> right. So we got uh, one of them is full of cheddar. I just uh, shredded it today. The other one here has mozzarella in it. And so that it's not like, you know, the, like, I feel like these are the new, uh, what was the margarine? Yeah. What was it called? Margarine? No, no. What was the brand? I can't believe it's not butter. No, there, I thought there was another tub. Parquet? But it, maybe it was the parquet tubs that you never knew what was in it. Right. Well, we... Um, we're we're thinkers. We use scotch tape and a marks a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> no more guessing. <laughs> and then um Oh yeah, some garlic. Yes, because one of our awesome hungry horde, Joanna. I hope I said that right. Joanna, uh, she said garlic butter or garlic's good. And so I was like, butter ooh, too. garlic butter. So we're gonna after it's like basically cooked, ready for plating, we're gonna drizzle a garlic butter sauce on top. Oh, we're also gonna do a couple of doll dollops of uh, goat cheese on it. Yeah, as well. three cheese. Yeah, but yeah, I'm really excited about this garlic butter. I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be so good, just kind of drizzled on top. Yes, it's gonna be really good. So we Are already you entertain the troops. I'm gonna start yeah. dicing up the veggies. Well, everybody's oh, I got gonna... another new thing. Yeah, please. everybody's gonna ask what you're drinking. So, I went to go get uh, some Zevia at the store. And I don't even know she's here yet. Who? Oh, yeah. Well, and uh, all that, all I've ever been able to find here locally is either a six pack or a 10 pack in cans of Zevia. Of Zevias. Every once in a while, I might find a tall boy, like the same size as like a monster or a bang or whatever. The same, same size, I'll find them. But they had their 10 packs at my HEB, but it was just under $10 for one. Well, I got to looking and I found this beautiful thing here. It's a no sugar Dr. Pepper. We all know I'm from Texas and I've always loved Dr. Pepper. So this is like a dream come true to me. But this is a strawberry cream one. So it's even better. But Strawberries then, and cream, which is what Renee talked about last week. Yeah. What's even better 
is these were like um, just under $8 a 12-pack, or they were on a special. There were three for $15. Yeah. So but I thought was a score. The only thing is it does have aspartame yeah, in it. Of course it does. Well, I know some people are sensitive to that. And it um, has, I thought there was something else that That's I was it. like, oh. It's little... made it so different to drinking a Diet Coke. I mean, it's the same stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. If you're drinking diet drinks, but I know some people don't. That's why they yeah. do Zevia. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so here, I'm going to sample it too. Oh, and the reason why I got the little doodab on top, we keep getting bug uh, flies. So it just keeps it from landing on there for me. It's a little protection. I love it. Yeah, he he loves that. And plus, I'm... I love the, the price too. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna start. To me, the strawberry to cream is very, very, very sweet. Like it's almost syrupy sweet. That's why I like it. Yeah, like I prefer the strawberry zevia, which I already find sweet, but this is like even sweeter. So I couldn't drink a whole can of it, like a sip maybe, but ugh. Uh, I'll, I'll stick to my coffee. Good. But yeah, let me know if, if you've tried it. What do you think of it? And let's say hello to a few people while he hello to a few people gets to chopping. Uh, Carrie's here. He said, jamming out with the trailer, fell back, and they are just carrying me away. Nice. I could do that so well being a carry. Right. <laughs> and Linda's here. Hey, Linda, welcome back. How are you? And I see Purple Love and Nana is here. Welcome back. Also, one other thing we forgot to tell them about. We already have our skillets in the oven preheated. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. That's right. So I've got the oven preheated to 425. Our skillets are in there. So we have a his and her skillet. It's already in there. Then that way, the skillet's going to be piping hot. So when we start putting the mozzarella down, it'll already start cooking that mozzarella. And I just find that helps the crust, which is mozzarella, get that nice little um, crispy factor on the bottom. And then also, I forgot to, a reminder, if you're a channel member, please remember tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central is our monthly cook-along. So you should have already got the email with the invite plus the recipe card. And there's a channel member right now, member only video where y'all can watch us making that as well. So I hope you all were able to see all of that and watch all of that. I'll put red onions on this because I still got some in there, but just please. We can. Are you? Nah. Okay. I want some, but I'll get them out in a little bit. Carrie said 420 days of no coffee or caffeine. Way to go, Carrie. Oh, Linda said she's gave up on all diet drinks, but she still drinks one cup of coffee and tea. Well, that's good. I pretty much do too, but I've never been a soda person. Um, she says that, and she'll drink mine. Yeah, you saw what I drank. But I'd say typically, like, you drink, what, two to three sodas a day. Mm -hmm. Like, I maybe have one a week, if yeah. that. Um, but I do have my coffee. Got to have my coffee. And then I, a lot of times, will have tea at the end of the day. Um, let's see. Oh, and I see JC's here. Hey, JC. Hey. It's a good Friday evening, everyone. Good Friday. Friday, how are you? And 22 Q Cats here. She said, hi, Shelly Heath and the wonderful horde. I've had skillet pizzas twice this week. Nice. And ready for more pizza. I am saying. Uh, Mary's here. Hey, Mary hi, said, hi, hello hi. from Minnesota. It's 40 degrees there. Ouch. That sounds nice, though. Yeah. Oh, you said, ouch? Yeah. You're cold. Right. Wow. I'm Wow, because it's been what 80s yeah, just since started Wednesday, yeah. so it's definitely warmed up here. And when you have to put on the AC every day, it's just a bummer. Uh oh, here we go, Joanna. Hey, hey. said hello from sunny South Carolina. Nice. Where are you at today? Like temperature wise. It was kind of an overcast day today. In fact, we got a little bit of rain. Yeah. Brenda's here. Hey, Brenda. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Said hello from Kentucky. That's awesome. Welcome back. 
and I see Jackie's here. Hey, Jackie, how are you doing? Are you driving today, making those uh, food deliveries? And Mary said, bring on the pizza, right? And they love pepperoni and onion. Oh, that's a good combo. And I see Reichwin's here. Hey, Reichwin said, happy Friday, horde mates. Hey, Reichwin, welcome back. And Brenda said she prefers pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, onions, and bacon with extra sauce. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, I was thinking about bacon too tonight, but I was like, well, we got the pulled pork. Right. Because actually somebody, I, I forget where I saw it. They did a bacon, um, a bacon cheddar pizza. And I was like, ooh, that sounds really good to me. Um, but oh yeah, I love bacon on it. But that's almost a supreme, right? Yeah. Joanna said she prefers pepperoni, green pepper, and garlic and some ricotta. Oh, ricotta would have been good on this. That's really good. Mary said, up here in Minnesota, the Tupperware is Lando Lakes butter. <laughs> I like that. At least it's real butter. Right. Uh, Joanna said, Mom's Tupperware was a big country crock. That's the one. That's the one we're thinking of. That's awesome. MG3919, hey, welcome back. And they said country crock as well. <laughs> and then Linda said, Blue Bonnet. Uh, right. I don't know if we ever had no. Blue Bonnet. Well, we Wasn't have... that the bougie butter? No, we may have got it if it was on sale. Maybe. Carrie said, before I was keto and I was in Chicago, I was introduced to deep dish pizza and that was the best. Oh, yes, sir. My second was the Hawaiian pizza. Now I just make a pizza pizza. Uh, what? I'm trying to decide if we want dices or rings. I like rings okay. on mine. So bring mine up. Um. Oh, yeah. When we went to Chicago and had the deep dish, that was so good, especially the one where they push in the mozzarella with the dough up the side. Fun fact that about that, too. We did a pizza tour while we were there, and the guy told us that deep dish was actually invented by a Texan, that their actual true Chicago style is a thin crust, and he says it's more like Domino's. You think the Domino's thin crust. is more like that. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be just bar food, almost right. like tapas. Right. But isn't that funny? A Texan uh, created the deep dish. Right. We always make everything better. <laughs> and Brenda said, country crock bowls. <laughs> Laugh out loud. And Joanna said, country crock. That's the big one, right? And she said, that's me. I know. When you mentioned that, I was like, oh, this is going to be so good. So I'm, I'm excited to do that. And we're going to kick it up a notch because I kind of want the sauce to be a little thicker. So I'm going to try to incorporate an egg yolk. And the, that will be the thickener for the sauce. Another fun fact about these, uh, the, the store made in the Tupperware. <laughs> I, uh, I used to buy the, the giant gallon of the Kroger brand ice cream because it came oh. in a container like this and then I could use it for leftovers. Right, right. I mean, oh, who do we saw? We saw on TikTok, remember? It was the guy doing the Filipino Tupperware and he was Joe at- Coy. Yeah, and he was acting like he was selling it. Like a QVC thing. Yeah, like a QVC. And they had the big plastic ice cream. And he's like, look, it even has a handle. Like, this is a great thing. Goodbye. Yeah, he's like, you can't put your kid's soup in here. And they can just take it to lunch, take it to work for a, a um, oh, what are they called at work now? Pop a potluck. Yeah, it's been so long. But yeah, take it to work as a potluck. And you already got the handle. Yeah. <laughs> Reichwin said, love your Southern Tupperware. You always have to look in all of them to find out what you had. And whoa, sometimes you have penicillin. That's why we put the label on it. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're like, whoa, uh, oh, oops. <laughs> this was from a meal last month. <laughs> and 2ATQ Cat said, ooh, garlic butter. Mmm, I know, I'm excited about it. Shauna's here. Hey, your hey, fried John. auntie. She said, I made it. Woo. Just finished my skillet pizza. Now she's going to be enjoying her skillet pizza before we even get to put ours in the oven. That just doesn't seem fair. But okay. Okay. Over here and made it for me. 
What did you put? Oh, yeah. We are going to put some tomatoes, too. Oh, yeah. And then Wright family's here. <laughs> hey, Wright family. Welcome back. Said, hey, guys. How are you? And then just Jason Keto. Hey, hey Jason. Said, good evening, everyone. How are you? And then Shauna said, oh, I love those. Please have some when I get there. Uh-oh. Which which was, what is it you love? The, the Tupperware. I, she wants oh, the Tupperware. You want the Tupperware? Okay, we'll get those. It's, it's Daisyware. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rocky Mountain Girl, hey, said, hey, y'all. Hey, welcome back. And Mrs. Perfectly Imperfect Keto said, hey, friends, just played a dinner. Now I'm ready. Oh, the Dr. Pepper Shauna saying. So you got to save a few Dr. Peppers for Shauna. Yeah, yeah, okay. She wants to try the strawberry specifically. They'll have this on the cruise, too. <laughs> well, they might not have the strawberries at cream. They did last year. They had just the strawberry. Oh. Maybe she, you know, we could save a couple. Okay. Us. Uh, I don't as, know if I'm ever going back to ATV, so we'll see. Oh, I know. He'll never be back, y'all. So, Sana, what did you plate for dinner tonight? Carrie said, I was told I'm not a real Texan since I have never really had a Dr. Pepper, but I know I'm a Texan. I mean, for shame. <laughs> well, uh, there's a radio uh, DJ here in Houston. When you would do things like that, he would revoke your Texas citizenship. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's funny. I just have water. Uh, the elixir of life. Uh, Purple Love Anana said, I never had either um, one. I had, I never had either one. So, either yeah, because she used to live here in Texas, uh, Dr. Pepper. That's fine. I, I do... I have to admit, now again, I never really was a soda person, but when I got with Heath, um, I did drink Dr. Pepper. When y'all come for the meetup, you'll see I have uh, Dr. Pepper memorabilia in the uh, hanging up outside. Yeah. She even got me a clock that says uh, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, an old ten clock. Four, ten, two, and four. Right, the old, old uh, vintage clock. But yeah, I did love Dr. Pepper. It just, it was like the one soda besides, I do like root beer. But, like, Dr. Pepper was the one that I was like, that really went well with the pizza. Yep. Um, but then, and and I thought for a while, like, oh, I'd never give up my Dr. Pepper, but it really wasn't hard. Right? Of all the things you can not have. Joanna said, I'm not a Dr. Pepper fan. I do love birch beer. Oh, I don't know if I've ever had birch beer. The doctor is in. <laughs> Carrie said, I like my invisible coffee, which is just water, right? You have the base for coffee. Rocky Mountain Girl said, watching and cooking. Hubby usually cooks, but he's sick. Oh, I hope he gets better. What are you cooking? Shauna said, I like the zero Dr. Pepper cream soda and the cherry. Now, see, I might like the cherry better because I am a cherry fan. Like, I enjoy cherry. Um, cream sodas are kind of hit Although, and miss. With the, the Zevia, you like the creamy root beer. Yeah, I do love the creamy That's root beer. Best one they make. Yeah, a creamy root beer and then black cherry. Yeah, and, that was good. Yeah, and I think and that's I'll, about it. And then the, the next one for me is the cherry cola. Ugh, I don't like anything cola. Mm -hmm. Like, ugh. Okay, well, do you want to Put those down and then get the tray of the skill. Well, here, I'll need that. And I'm like, we're going to swap these two. There, that's good. And oh, then you want the hot plate? No, no, we the, the, the skillet. skillets. Okay, that's what I was telling you before. Well, do you think they'll both fit on this one? Yeah, it's on that, that cooking sheet. Okay, I took it off the tray to make life easier. And put oh. it in the oven. Okay. <laughs> I thought it would be easier on the cooking Well, it's sheet. ugly, so to me it's not. Oh, okay. Um, Joanna said, I have a cast iron for when I make this. Can't wait. It's my grandmother's. Oh, nice. Wow, that's awesome. 
Cast Iron Cooking is just where it's at, y'all. Jennifer's here. Hey, Jennifer. Say good evening, beautiful people. Hey, how are you doing? Oops. And let's see. Because remember when we started, before we started, I told you I was going to spin the board and put the other board on there. And you said, yeah, that sounds good. I I thought you when you were referring to board, you meant the, the cooking sheet. I meant the one I picked up and showed you. That's the one I meant. Okay, you're Silly getting an man. attitude tonight, and and we're not going to put up with that. Silly me. For serving, yes. But that's also why I told you earlier today I put these on a cooking sheet. Okay. So, now all we do, these are piping hot. I'm going to put my gloves on. All right. Oh, nice. I still have a little bit of grease in mine. Yeah. And I'm just going to do a nice layer here. Can they even see that? Yeah, they can see. I mean, I can see. Well, yeah, you can. No, I can see on the camera. Oh, okay. But a, a nice, good layer here. You want to spoon don't, or are you good? Don't be chintzy with it. Because, again, behold the power of cheese. Here, let me spin this. Oops. Ooh. You got a piece of cheese running away. Oh, no. I want to play with the cheese. All right, there. Dang it. That's half the container. That's awesome. I know. I told you it would take a lot of it. That's awesome. Because you've got a big pizza. Okay. We're going to put that in. Oh. We're going to put this in for five minutes. And then he's going to turn on our hot plate so we get started on our garlic butter. Good thing I have two hands. I know. It's important to have two hands. Joanna said, I drink a soda as a treat, and I dilute it with seltzer. Oh, that's awesome. I've I heard... also drink it as a treat. I just have several treats. Oh, goodness, y'all. Goodness. He's in a mood tonight, and I don't even know why. Because it's a good mood, and I'm just wanting to you and enjoy it with me. Okay, so. Oh, shoot, I forgot. We'll do this after. Well, I can grab them. No, no, no. I just need the hot plate on. Remember, it's kind of bogarted. I know. So. Um, and then after you plug that in. Oops. Then um, you might, did you set a timer for yes. five minutes? Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, that's going on. And then the. You know, um, spatula, I mean the, the, the little mini skillet. skillet. You want this, uh, yeah, I'll take all that off. Huh? Yeah, this one, right? Yeah, okay. And then okay. look, I'm just thinking too, you can use this piece of for a spoon rest. Oh, okay, sure, or I can either way. Yeah, all right. Oh, um, you already had the butter, okay. And what else? That's it for right now, right? Yeah. And then all we'll need is uh, once the five minutes is up, then we will um, get going on doing, pulling those out and putting the toppings. All right, there's that butter. And oh, you said, or can I borrow the knife, please? This one that you sliced with. Okay, there we go. There. And then so this, this one back in the fridge? Yeah. Okay. Woo. All right. And I'm going to wait just a minute, though. I'm going to have to yeah. get up. I'll yeah, away you've got three up. minutes. Okay. Let's kind of keep spinning that. Okay. And then once the butter is almost melted, then we'll add the garlic. And then um, also when you get up to do that, I'll need another little bowl for the yolk, like a little glass bowl. 
you'll see. Or, you know what, we'll just use that bowl, mm -hmm. um, but I will need a spoon. Okay, so MG3919 said, day 14 of no caffeine or no coffee. First time here. Well, wow. great. You're in good company because you saw Carrie's been doing it for 420 days. So way to go. I'm having a drink of caffeine for both of you. <laughs> Carrie said, people at Minnesota just have mini sodas. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Purple Love and Nana said, we're supposed to get two to five inches of snow. Wow. That's between four and one tomorrow wow that's nuts that is nuts uh brenda said i may try pizza tomorrow seeing the chicken crust Ooh, yeah we have tried the chicken crust i think my th i've always loved a very thin and crispy yes. crust um and a Can very cheesy huh i said i was gonna do it while you're doing it oh okay Let's or see a blank spot or would the Ooh, i just do that instead Mm -hmm. Or just spatula will spin it around. That would make sense. All right. Slow down, Turbo. And that's going to be our garlic butter sauce. Because we actually act. I'm going to learn how to talk now. We actually have some uh, marinara we got on sale quite a while back, actually. But um, well, guess what? I had to pour. Yeah, well, I didn't want the butter to go to waste there. Yeah. I just don't want to burn the handle. But anyways, we were originally gonna do marinara on it, you know, because it's pizza. But then one of y'all mentioned that, and it sounds Joanna. amazing. Joanne, thank you. It sounds amazing. I know. I love a good garlic yeah. butter, and I like how um, remember I forget which pizza company where they would do drizzles on the pizza oh, afterwards. Right. Well, I was thinking it works out perfect since you're doing high fat still. Yeah. Then here's your fat. There's exactly. Some more exactly. I can't read. Wow, that. Joanna that said it. Seconds. Uh, yes, Joanna said it hit uh, 80 in South Carolina oh, today. Wow. Oh goodness. Okay, I'll move this over here. Oh, that's a good idea. That, that burner's not even on. Right. Oh. And at least I hope it's off. Make sure it's off. <laughs> And then once he pulls that out, then we'll go to making our toppings. And I don't want the butter to get too hot, though. So we're going to kind of do, we're going to do double time right here. Put that there. Um, wow. Time. Yeah, it definitely sucks when I have to put the AC on because I feel like... Now I've got AC on for days, right? The only thing that sucks worse than turning the AC on? Mm -hmm. Sweating. Well, that's true. Sweating's never fun. Uh, Carrie said, if I got any rain, I took a nap and slept through it. Yeah, it was really quick, Carrie. Like, not much time at all. Ooh, those look good. Ooh, and now yeah, it rained on me right as I was leaving Costco, so that was really, really fun. And then now we just get to start doing the toppings. And I got a couple um, of spoons if you need them. And then you need a spoon or a fork for the, your pulled pork, right? Right, right, right. So I'm going to just start with the jalapenos. What's y'all's favorite cheese on a pizza? Mm -hmm. uh, Gouda is your favorite cheese? No oh, goodness, y'all. Y'all didn't know I married a comedian. A comedian. Mm -hmm. Like a whole potty laugh. Oh, gosh. But here's my little uh, travel heater. Hey, I'm going to start sprinkling the jalapenos for you. Is that good? Yeah, perfect. And then here's our full pork. But actually, you know what? Oh, the jalapenos. Yeah, no, no, no. Good, good, good. Because I want to finish it with um, the pepperoni. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, wow. That thing works really well. Because they've been going like right after lunch. I'm going to sprinkle the Serrano on nice. here. That's why I could just spoon the way to muck up and touch your eyes or something with it. Oh, whoops. You know what, though? Since I'm whoops. up and ready, I want onion on mine. Okay. And what I got here is just some really thin sliced red onion. Yeah, super thin. I ran it through the mandolin the other day. Okay, 
going to put a couple more jalapenos here. Ooh. Mine's going to be loaded with top aids, it looks right. like. Do you want any of this onion? Um, sure, I'll uh, take a little onion. And then we got the bell pepper. I'm just going to do that kind of on there. Kind of sprinkle this. I got the little core of it. Uh, that's all right. I don't want to eat that part. Right? Okay. And then... Oh, yeah. Let's do the sofrito. Yeah. So this, I like this sofrito. If you have a Trader Joe's, it's got sun-dried tomatoes and garlic in it. Just really good, especially in Italian food. All right. And, yeah, let me just grab. Oh, don't get it too close. All right. Oh, ouch. Do that. Wow, this is really loaded up. Yes. It's like, an, okay. uh, what do you call it, a Supreme? <laughs> Definitely a Supreme, y'all. Um, let's see. MG3919 said South Carolina is in the 80s. Wow. Oh, and y'all get the humidity too, right? Oh, and then Carrie hit the like button 5 million gazillion times. Plus one. Thanks, Carrie. And Marie's here. Hey, Marie. Said, have you done a barbecue chicken pizza version? No. But it would be good with your barbecue sauce. Didn't you put, yeah, that's what you did last time. You put barbecue sauce on this one. Do you want any? Or no, you're doing the garlic sauce. No, and I do the tomatoes last. Like, I'm, I'm going to put this in to cook a few more minutes. Okay, and okay. then I top with the tomatoes. Okay, yeah, and... You're going to do which, your pulled pork or the pepperoni? Pulled pork next. Okay, Are go ahead. Any? No. And then whatever's left over, it's going to be my lunch. Is that look good, y'all? Oh, wow. What? It's hot. Yeah? Probably. Now I'm going to take some of this cheddar. Kind of sprinkle that around. And this is like such a good fatty filling meal, right? Oh, wow. You really got it on I there. I got a meat I'm telling you. You ready for the pepperoni now? Yes. Oh, do we want any of the goat cheese? Well, you said you did. Are you going to put it in yours? Yeah, if you get me a spoon for it. Uh -huh. Oh, well, yeah, you've got spoons. Uh -huh. yeah. So, what has anybody got planned this weekend? What are you planning on doing? Y'all have any new recipes you're trying or want to try? I got an idea, though. Oh? Well, have you already put the garlic on there? No, the garlic's going to be in the sauce. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to make room so I can give you this cheese. Oh, okay. Yeah, hold on. Oh, wait. You said this one's off, right? No, that one is not. Okay, okay. I don't want to put plastic on it. No. just It'll be just a moment. That's fine. Okay, here. You want to seal that up for me then? Yeah. And then now I can take that. All right. So we got our goat cheese here. And then I don't know if I noticed or not. A little preview for tomorrow night for our channel members. These are some bell peppers we're going to be using tomorrow night for the cook along. <laughs> so make sure you want to tune in for that. All right. Just do little globs of the yes. goat cheese. And I just put it in the same container as the goat cheese is in. Because mm -hmm. it's only going to sit there for a couple hours. Right. Before we use it up. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be good. I've been waiting for pizza like all week long. We've been having corned beef all week. Yes. We got a really good deal at Aldi. Yeah. For two ninety nine a pound for the corned beef. Are you just going to finish that? I mean, I might as well, okay, right? That's fine. Then I go ahead. And put, well, you need the lid, though. Or you, you hand me the lid, right? Well, okay, here, let me. 
Yeah. Just grab out the last of this. And I feel like, you know, goat cheese is like a premium here. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. Uh, I'm just trying to clear some stuff away as we're going. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let me do some maintenance. This cheddar cheese on heat. Yes, please. Because cheddar makes it better. There. I'm going to try to do break up some of these little pieces. Does that look good? Yeah. What? I'm, I think you missed the spot. Oh? Is that better? I guess. It'll do. No, you missed another spot. And then the Texas Five Spice, right? Yeah. Here. I want to break that up a little. Hardly tell that there's anything under all that cheese. Yes, the cheese pizza. All right. And we're going to put this in for another five minutes. And then here's my butter, right? I'm coming back. I promise. I'm going to add roughly a half a tablespoon of garlic. And that was about a half a stick of butter. Coming in hot. All right, let me put this back over here. It's and not then, delivery, it's Dehethio. Dehethio? And Dehethio, can I please... Well, it's not DiGiorno. Can I please get uh, a, the lemon or lime juice? I just want to splash in here. And so what we've got so far for the garlic butter sauce is just some garlic and butter. And this is the lime juice. Just do a splash of that, about a teaspoon. Okay. And then, oh, look, I found cheese. Okay. So how I'm going to do the egg yolk. Because the egg yolk should be a good way to thicken a sauce. So I know since we generally don't use like cornstarch and of course not flours to thicken our sauces, we're looking for other ways. And I was like, yeah, an egg yolk, nature's perfect dish or perfect uh, thickener, um, sauce maker, like all of that. That. I'm just going to stir that in there. And what I'm going to do is we want to temper this egg yolk. Um, but yeah, Marie, I like that idea of the chicken barbecue pizza. Okay, we're doing that next week. That Shauna said, on my pizza, she put mozzarella, cheddar, pepperoni, sun-dried uh, tomatoes. That good too. Here's where heat's going to... Olives. Not like it. Kalamata olives and garlic stuffed green olives. No, wow. Good pizza. Good job. No, for real, I used to have one of my roommates actually work for Papa John's, so I got free pizza all the time. But he would purposely put olives on it to make sure he had a pizza that I would not touch. <laughs> he would booby trap it to protect mm. it for himself. So to the egg yolk, we're going to temper it by just slowly adding in some of that melted butter that's because we don't want it to curdle right so i'm just going to add just a little bit at a time and hope it doesn't curdle on me y'all that's another thing i really love about shelly y'all she loves olives but she knows it's a cardinal sin to put them on a pizza well, here's the thing. I love olives, but I do not like cooked olives. Yeah, my boy found it better. Um, it's just like anytime there's vinegary things, I don't much like them cooked. You know, like how we did the bacon wrap pickles. That still was just a little off. It's just like, I think it's something when when it becomes vinegared, I just don't like it reheated. Yeah, move this over here. 
and that and you could probably take the hot plate away if you want okay. that's what i was making room for oh okay and that kind of reminds me of a story one time my mom she like somebody was going to show up for a visit unexpected she was like oh my gosh i gotta gotta make them something you know that's what you do in the south right you like oh somebody's coming over i gotta cook for them, right well she is looking and looking and she was and she saw in her pantry she had these green beans oh. and she was like oh i'll just make some green beans as a side so she took them and did them like she normally does and cooked them with some butter and stuff I guess she just figured it would be the same, but they were pickled green oh. beans. Did I say green onions? Green beans. Oh. They were pickled green beans that then she cooked oh. with That's butter and stuff. That's wonderful. <laughs> and so they, yeah, they were not, uh, nobody liked that because even she was just like, oh, this doesn't, this doesn't taste that good. So that's a uh, mom's hack for uninvited guests over for dinner. <laughs> right. Don't want them to come back. <laughs> right. Hey, and I'm just keeping. And in fact, babe, do you mind getting me a whisk? So no, I can I whisk. Don't. Okay. What? I honestly didn't want to use it in that pan. No, I'm not gonna use it in the pan. Put that there. We used to have a little miniature one. What happened to it? I don't know. Which one would you rather? Mm hmm. Remember, it was purple. Yeah, I know. We but lost. this is fine. I'm just going to whisk this in. Oh, so, the pizza's done. Well, then you want to pull out and put the tomatoes on it, right? Yeah. And hold on a second, y'all. I got to get my. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make room for the pizzas. I don't want to lose out on any of this garlic. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's down there. All right, I got an idea. The well, you're fixing to do that, though. But what? We gotta do, do you want the tomatoes? I mean, I don't mind. Just slice them real quick. Okay, that's the problem, though. Oh? We're running out of room when I need stuff down. We're good. Okay. And move that and dry my little splatter here. Mmm. Well, Tastes good. Oh, wow. Almost cut my finger. Oh, well, don't do that. Then you get some uh, some secret sauce. I guess not since it's set on camera. It won't be a secret. No, it wouldn't be a secret. Okay, just whisking this. At least it'll be sweet. And this will make it a nice and fatty sauce because of the egg yolk and all that butter. Yeah. Now get these tomatoes out of the way. We're done with those. That's yeah. Enough, right? For both of us? Oh, yeah. Okay. Coming in with the pizza. Yes. Thank you, sir. But look how nice that sauce looks. Oh, wow. Put this right here. And Ooh, that's hot. let's take a little sip. Coming in, coming in, coming in. That's hot. Oh, that's good. Oh, those are good. And the best part about this, too, that cast iron is also going to be our plate. <laughs> right? We're going to eat it straight from the pan. Do a couple of these. And then do, would you rather put it under the broiler for just a minute? That's what I was fixing to ask. <laughs> All right, let me turn the bro broiler on. And... And I'm going to get rid of these spoons. We don't need any more. Well, I'll need one of them. Oh, well, I got this one. Yeah. But I was thinking, did you already put the five spice up? Yeah, it's just right over here. Okay. Got to gotta hit up the spice, y'all. Spice it up, yo. 
So Mary said the hotter peppers sound good on as a taco pizza, right? Oh, that's a good idea too. You're gonna put the risotto over it now, or we're no. gonna broil it first? We're gonna broil it first. This is gonna be finishing, and then I'll need the salt too. I think this needs. Who would have guessed what brand we're using? Yeah, Redmond's. Alan's Awesome welcome Keto there, World. Hey, Alan, welcome to our show. Oh, hey, brother. All right. Are you ready? Did you put some on mine too? Yeah, you got tomatoes. No, the salt. Oh, I put it in the sauce. Right. I didn't know you wanted it also on there. I'm feeling salty. That's true. Hey, Alan, welcome. How are you doing? Ooh, 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 Said, ooh. how is everyone today? We're doing great. Are you okay? What happened? Uh-oh. Glad he's going off camera, y'all. Yeah, good now thing. <laughs> Carrie said, that is cool, Joanna. Charleston was my first duty station in the Navy. I was there until I left New Year's Day 2010. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, Charleston is Thank gorgeous. you for your service. Yes, Charleston is gorgeous. I love visiting Charleston. Um, Air fried auntie said, my mom was a hippie, so we never ate margarine. It was always butter. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's really good. Was it like homemade butter? Was she like the type of hippie where, you know, they had to make their own food or two minutes? Yeah, I would say two minutes. All right. Now I'm going to try this sauce. Let's see now. Ooh. You want to try it, dear? No, I believe you. Okay. I don't want to sit down or try it on yet. Um, Jackie said, yep, yeah, worked at Carrier 16 hours yesterday. Wow. So. Seasoning. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, uh, had a late start, but time and a half is better than DoorDash money. Oh, I bet. Well, I'm glad you're getting that. That's awesome. If you get some time and a half, that's. And you know it's for sure, whereas DoorDash, you know it's you never know for sure until the end of the night. So that's really good. Joanna said, "My daughter loves Charleston. She's in Myrtle Beach, and I'm in Anderson. Oh, how fun! Bluegrass girls here. Hey, Sarah said hi, everyone. Walking dogs and listening. All walking your beautiful little puppies." Jennifer said, all of our cereal bowls growing up were new-made margarine bowls. Good and sturdy, just the right size. Uh -huh. Oh, that's awesome. So here's my drink for the evening. Oops. Um, get that centered. Oops. Oh, oh here the hiccup I had. Hmm. Um, that's really cool. I mean, that's a great way to just, and then if you break it or, or, you know, it, uh, rips or anything then no, no loss. Right. I used to like that though. That was one of the things I found by doing vintage, you know, in my shop is I learned a lot about our history, you know, like the flower sacks used to be material you can make dresses with. And a lot of stuff used to be made to where it was reusable. Like the companies kind of even knew that in doing so. Wow. Oh, that's hot. Here. So you can move yours around whenever you need it. Yeah. Well, that might actually be perfect. Well, right okay. Ooh, even Ooh. the gloves are hot. <laughs> All right. Here's our sauce. So let's start drizzling. Ooh. Oh, it's good. And you used all those tomatoes? Back to slice them? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that was really good. I don't right? know. It's so greasy. Really? And I do. Now I got to have all my fat, y'all. Oh, we got cheese down here, too. <laughs> uh, so a snack for Delilah later? Yeah. That's what I hear. But speaking of uh, reusing containers... Check out this guy right here. <laughs> I have a whole collection of these. They're like perfect. 
we got these. These are souvenirs from the hotel. This is what they put the uh, breakfast buffet out on. And uh, I've just saved them. And what makes it really good is, let me sneeze. I don't catch it. Wow, that looks really good, though. I hope you all are able to see the pizzas good enough. <laughs> Zoom tight. Right. Well, what's really cool is they end up using the lids for spoon rests, like, like for tonight. And then we take these with us and use it for dog bowls for the do uh, when we travel. Yeah, for the so, dog. So if I lose them or they get broken or whatever, because one time uh, Samson ate one of them, <laughs> well, chewed on them, Ooh. but uh, I'm not out anything because, like I said, they're souvenirs. <laughs> they're souvenirs. And I think you have the silverware, yes. right? I'm excited. And Hop another into uh, this. upcycled container. I mean, remember, y'all, when you come for the the meat. And greet, you're you're gonna have to bring your own silverware. <laughs> you're not, you're not. I'm just playing. Uh Carrie said, that's cool, Joanna. Myrtle Beach on um Tom. I found a huge starfish on the beach and not knowing if it was alive, I threw it back in. Hope Patrick made it. Oh, All right. me too. How cute. How fun. Shauna said, oops. Hi, Heath and Shelly. Hey, Shauna. Oh, I see Sherry's here. Hey, Sherry. She said, greetings from Franklin, Tennessee. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hi, welcome. Now, the only the bad part about this now is why I'm waiting for it to cool off so I don't burn my mouth. I know. Crafty is here. Uh, hey, Tyla. Hey. She says, hello, everyone. How are you doing? And then Shauna said, I'm sorry, I even tried to wait, but I couldn't. Nom, 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 nom. I don't blame you. I would not be able to wait either. Pizza is just one of those foods that's just amazing, right? Sherry said, I made it earlier than normal tonight. You sure did. Might even catch the recipe. This is so easy. So easy, I right? There's an actual recipe, but yeah. Yeah. It's basically just throw it all in there. There, right? He said, I just got real Tupperware. I didn't know it was still around, right? You're like, real Tupperware? What's that? <laughs> That's awesome. Now you sound bougie, though. Ooh, I have the real Tupperware. Legit. Right? Joanna said, That's true. We expected. Uh, bet Patrick's telling his friends about his adventure, right? That'd be funny. Um, Let's see. Everybody going back and forth. Joanna said, this is my first live I'm catching. I'm a hungry horde virgin. Oh, well, well thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks for the idea about the garlic sauce. All right, who's taking bets as if I'm going to burn my mouth or not? Hey. Because I got to dig in. Look at that. just dripping off of there. Yeah, all that garlic butter. How is the, so the pizza at the bottom? It's hard. Hard, not hard, Hardened. but. Hardened. Yeah, like crispy, right? Yes. My pepper, I mean, my uh, jalapeno keeps falling off. Mm-hmm. This is end up being a pizza in a bowl. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, I love that. Wow. Oh, goodness. See, a little bit of crispiness there on the edge. Oh, I'm hot. Heart. <laughs> Ooh. You got to kind of do that, like, reverse blow and cool it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still working. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. That's good, y'all. So I noticed cheesy the other and night good. I waited, it got hardened up and it made it a little more crispy. Yeah, yeah. As Let it, it as it sits, it'll solidify. Because I y'all can't probably see here, but around the edges, it's definitely browned, and that's because we cook we had the hot skillet and then we put the mozzarella in it, it already made it start making that really good, like crispy cheese. Almost like a cracker crust. Right. Mm. Damn, so mm. good. Wow. And Sherry said, my favorite pizza was always the Supreme with all the ingredients, but as long as it didn't have pineapple on it, it was a keeper. Uh-oh. Is that the war tonight? Pineapple? I, that was my favorite, especially from Domino's. <laughs> I wanted the thin crust with chicken, pepperoni, and pineapple. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite pie. I've always been a traditionalist. Like, I always just want pepperoni and cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did, as I got older, I was like, well, jalapenos are good and mushrooms are good. Yes. And that's kind of where I would leave it. And y'all, I've been wanting to do this since we've been home, but being keto, we can't or won't. 
Oh. When we were in New Zealand, we actually had banana on a pizza. It was amazing, actually. <laughs> and another thing they said that they did is they take a whole banana, wrap it in bacon, and throw it on the grill. But it sounded amazing. I've, I've been wanting to do it. I, I, I'm a, ever since they told me about it, I wanted to do it and bring you know, mm-hmm. when we got home. But somebody got sick and they just go keto. So, oh, like you blaming me. But that was something different. You'll never see banana on a pizza. And apparently that's just local. Uh, yeah. Well, it, she said like uh, South Africa, that's just real common to have bananas as a savory dish. But it, it really was really good. Um, I forget what meat it had. Was it? I want to say it was bacon. Yeah, I think it was bacon. Or maybe ham, like thick cut ham. Yeah, something like that. It was good. It was good though. But oh well, who needs bananas? Shauna said, "Oh, on the side, I have Persian cucumber and green goddess dressing. Oh, wow. oh that sounds really good. Dip your pizza in that." Carrie said that reaction to Heath was so funny when I said I never had a Dr. Pepper. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> Heath is also the same. That'll be like beans don't belong in chili. Nope. That's why it's the perfect keto uh, dish. Right, because he was talking to his friend <coughs> <coughs> last night who was making, not somebody who was keto, but he was making a, some kind of like chili and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put the beans in it. And Heath was like, Ugh. Well, to his credit, he's from Georgia originally. Right. And that's what he said. He goes, yeah, that's how you know he's not a real Texan. <laughs> to, the, to his friend, I uh-huh. was like, beans? Oh, my gosh. He goes, Shelly, he's not a real Texan. <laughs> Sonis said, chicken wings and air fried burgers. Oh, awesome. That now, sounds good, too. Um, do I you, looked at wings today, but they didn't have any on sale. Uh, do you flavor the chicken wings, Sana? Or are you still just kind of avoiding most seasonings? Uh, Joanna said, I'll have to ask my daughter. She's about 20 minutes from the beach. Oh, how fun. Jennifer said, my idea of a keto pizza is make like a sloppy joe with Italian sausage, a little marinara, stuff that in a big portobello cap. Add oh. black olives, pepperoni, and mozzarella, and pack it high. Oh, Ooh. I was on there almost with you. But, uh, yeah, if we admit the olives, though, that sounds really good. It does. Yeah, if we get the portobellos, like, on sale, that'd be an awesome way of doing it. Oh, look, just Jason Keto said, my interview with Heath and Shelly will be released next Thursday, y'all. Mark your calendars for the 30th. For anyone that's interesting, it was so much fun. And we had so much fun. It was so great talking to Jason. And Jason does go live on Saturdays. And last Saturday, he actually had Dustin from Keto Simple. And it was such a fun live. I liked, uh, you know, hearing Justin and his little banter and stuff. And, yeah, it's really great. So y'all go look at Jason's stuff. And I hope y'all tune into that and tune into his live tomorrow night. Yes. Or I hope he's going live. If not, correct me. Uh, Shauna said, I'm a pepper. You're a pepper. He's a pepper. Right. She's a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper, too? <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. What'd you do? Oh, you dropped it? No, I'm down. Uh, Mary said, today's dinner, Mississippi pot roast. Oh, that is so good. Mm-hmm. We had that not too long ago. It's really good. Reichwin said, a lot of laughing from the comments, especially if Renee is here. I know. Where is she? Did Renee show up yet? Uh-uh. I don't even see her. Uh, uh, uh. I know she's been busy this week, and then tomorrow she'll be busy. So uh, she's probably just now hitting the hib. Um, Carrie said, Shelly is right. That is the base for water. So I had to turn my glass down to hear the stream. Uh-huh. <laughs> Joanna said, I love black cherry jello. Oh, Ooh, that, that sounds good. Even pre keto, mm. I don't remember that ever eating jello that often, honestly. Well, every time I ate jello was when I was sick. Like anytime I had my uh, like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis would flare up, it was back to jello. Like, oh, but I do like, and you know, the actual, my favorite jello is when it was mixed with the cream. I only remember the only time I ever remember eating it a lot was when we went to Poncho's and they had a little tower. Oh, that's right. If anybody had a Poncho's near you, they would have the little um, 
what they call it, the Mexican flag mm -hmm. dessert. All right, let me go in for another bite. Yeah, Carrie said Renee would make it more hilarious. I know, she's a hoot. A hoot and a half. Uh, Shauna said, I bought four cases of Dr. Pepper Zero in August. Of 22, and I just opened my last one. Wow, how'd you make wow. that last so long? I know. We'll be lucky if this lasts two weeks till next payday. Uh, that's awesome. Let's see. Right family said, all the husbands are getting in time out tonight. I think it's the weather. Yours too? Yours too? Like, I mean, I'm saying... Um, but he's actually been pretty good today. He's been really busy keeping everything. He even did laundry and dishes, y'all. I know. I, I'm surprised, too. I was like, wow, you're getting it all done. Okay, let me go in for another bite here. Look at that. Mm. Mm. It is so good. I just love cheese. Uh huh. And it's so pulley. You know, has that stretch to it. And then all the different peppers we use the habanero, the jalapeno, and the serrato give it a good amount of heat. And then the garlic butter sauce and nice like. and fatty. And you see my skillet here. It's the, I think this is the eight inch skillet. Ooh, that is a little hot still. And uh -huh. then I think you have the 12 uh -huh. inch, right? So, but I'm telling y'all, like, sometimes this is the thing that messes with my head. Tell me if anybody else is like this. Because I've always been a big eater. Like, you know, when people would tell me, you can't eat all that. I'm like, Psh, I can eat it all. Like, I can eat. Uh, I've never been one of those that's like, oh, I had three wings. I can't possibly eat another. It's like, no. Oh, you, I can eat 20 wings? Sure, I can do that. Um. But, so you look at this and you're like, this, my mindset is, wow, that's not much food. Like, that's my mind tells me, mm -hmm. Shelly, that's not much food. Every time I made this, which in the last couple weeks, because uh, Air Fry and Auntie kind of started the trend because she started posting her skillet pizzas. And I was like, okay, that's what I'm doing one night, you know? So I did that, uh, I think, two or three times last week. And every time I'm like, oh, yeah, this is not enough food. But by the time I finish this, I am so freaking full. I'm like, why do I think this is not enough food? Because it always is enough food. Like, I think I need to have that size skillet. But honestly, this will fill me up. It's just a mind trick, right? And that's like one of the things I try to work on. And so what I tell myself, like when this, when I made this, I was like, look, if I'm still hungry after finishing this, I could have some keto brick or I could have string cheese or I could have bacon or uh, a sausage. Like, I know that there's other food that I could have. So let me finish this first and then see how I feel instead of letting my mind, because my old mindset would have been, oh, well, I got to have that size because there's no way this is going to fill me. And I would have made myself as I would still eat that whole thing. Because, again, I can just keep eating. Uh, but this actually lets me go, oh, okay, no, this is actually plenty for me. But it's still my trick. Because every time I make it, I still think that's not much food. Um, Joanna said she could see it. Thank you. Mrs. Perfectly Imperfect Keto said Heath about to lose his chauffeur. That's right. How are we going to feel tomorrow? Because we're not going out for your... Well, I was just thinking about that. Oh, I want to go get some uh, heavy cream because I want to make a frittata. Oh, okay. I think it'd be good in this pan with all the drippings in it and then some of that uh, pulled pork. So are we going to Aldi again? Well, that, I'm fine with that. Shauna mm. said, Hi, I started the video process of making an apple and barely got through the base in too long. If you'll get better at it, Sean. Just keep practicing on everything. Jackie said, four days for my one-year restart. So antsy to do side-by-side -side comparisons. Oh, that'll be exciting, oh, we'll Jackie. Be. I can't wait to see that. Carrie said, now Shelly and Heath will have some cheesy jokes with all of the cheese. Right. I mean, look at it. We did. 
Joanna said, I just finished dinner. I'm stuffed, but just the idea of pizza has me drooling. Right. Pizza's my favorite food. Mine that's too. Yeah, that's definitely his favorite. So a lot of times we don't do it. You all know how we love our burgers? Well, when I'm reheating them, I'll pour a little tomato sauce or marinara on it, drizzle it with the cheese and a couple of pepperonis, and then I got a pizza burger. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, pizza's just such a perfect uh -huh. food. You know? Mm. I don't know who else going on the low-carb cruise, but I have to say that last year on the low-carb cruise, we spent plenty of time in that pizzeria uh -huh. and just eating the toppings off the pizza. We did that almost every day, I think. Yes. Um, it was a great place to go. And then I really think we'll utilize it a lot this yes, year. Yes. Because I don't, I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking that dinner might not always be up to snuff. Up to snuff. So we won't be as full as we were last year. So I can see us after a show that night, then hit the pizzeria and getting a few slices and, and eating the toppings. I don't remember how late they opened. I thought they were 24 hours. Are they? I thought there was one time I went by and they were closed. I don't, uh, only in port, I think. Oh. Carrie said the cheese just shredded out. Watch it go. I know. Alan said birch beer is really good. Oh, okay. I think we had it one time. Oh, I we don't did? Remember it. I don't remember it. It was that good. Huh. <laughs> is that the brand is birch beer? Crafty said, hope you guys have fun at the meetup tomorrow. Oh, that's right. The is it it's the Ohio meetup yeah, is tomorrow. I think so, yeah. Oh, fun. I can't wait to see all the pictures again. I love when y'all share pictures. Jackie said, I wonder if I could do the opposite with the carbonated water and soda hack and learn to like fizzy water. I mean, maybe. Um, I don't know. What is it you don't like about the fizzy water? Is it just water itself or is it the carbonation? Shauna said, when I make mine, my stove is next to me. So I get most of the stuff mise en place as my skillet heats and I add the layers. Oh, there nice. you go. Perfect. Brenda said, I'll have a seven up zero every once in a while. Wanting to try. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Wanting to try the new Pepsi zero. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know Pepsi had a zero out. Mm. I'm not a member of the Pepsi generation, so. Oh, you're not? Remember? I was her slogan. Oh, is it? Mm hmm I don't know. Um, I was never a big fan of Pepsi on its own. Yeah. But I did like their uh, the wild cherry Pepsi. That one was pretty good. Oh. Yeah, my mom, she was just a Coca-holic. Mm-hmm. Like, she had to have six-pack of Coke every day. Mm -hmm. I don't know why she's a diabetic. Um, but, yeah. Seven Up, I remember those, too. But, hmm. And they have the flavors, too, now, I think, too. Wow. And I said, too, a lot, didn't I? Uh -huh. Shauna said, so are you cooking your sauce? Yeah, I did heat it up the sauce. Oh, and look, it's already cooled down a little bit. So, like, you could. Want some more? No drizzle a little bit on top here. So good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alan said, my problem is I have one glass it start to become an everyday thing. And I think that's my thing too is I'll be like, Oh, okay, I could have one, and then I'll be like, gosh, it was so good. That's kind of what happened with the whole lot of chocolata. Yeah. As I'd be like, gosh, that's just so good. Oh, let's just have another one. And then you're having it every day again. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Well, I know you are. If it tastes good, why not drink? Why not taste good every day? What a well, tragedy. Some would argue then it, it's, uh, you know, you're trying to get healthier, not eat and drink stuff that maybe isn't the best conducive to your health. Well, my happiness is very important to my health. Oh, we know. And the way I look at it, too, it might be backwards or whatever, but I've already given up enough. Um, well, hmm. 
Um, Shauna Anything said, more, it kind of feels like a punishment. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I guess what... Because you always say that keto is not hard and it's enjoyable. So because what not, would be I'm a punishment? Not enjoying it. Why? Would be the punishment. Like what? Not having the bang or the uh, uh, the diet, like the diet Dr Pepper and stuff like that. Uh, so if you like had to give up your your caffeine drinks, you wouldn't mm -hmm. be happy anymore. Right. Okay. Well, that's why well, nobody's saying you have to. Mm -hmm. Mm. So I said, I'm not sure how many days I've had coffee, mm. but I started when I was about 19. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, mm. I think I actually had some coffee as a child, too. Um, not like every day. But um, you know, occasionally I would get a little a little taste, not my own though, which you probably got to do that too, Shauna. <laughs> See, I don't think it's the coffee taste that I never liked because I uh -huh. love those candies, those coffee nips, mm. those little hard candies. You know, mm -hmm. those are really good. And then I think the biggest thing though is I just don't like hot drinks. That's true. Like I even when it has to be like stupid cold, I still don't want hot cocoa. Mm hmm. That way, we want more butter sauce. Right. But I'm already starting to get full. <laughs> I'm going to pace myself. Oh, no. Bluegrass Girl said it's pouring in Kentucky. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's that's no fun. fun. I hope you got the dogs walked before it started really being bad. Speaking of raining, tell them what I did with the uh, receipt from Costco. <laughs> you tell them. So... I got lucky. As soon as I got there, I had to go use the bathroom. So I pulled the cart in, parked it right by the bathroom, you know, the go in the entrance there. They got a whole stack of the boxes. Those of y'all that go to Costco, you know how they you have a bunch of items. They give you a box to carry it all out in, you know, inside the, the cart and everything. Well, I went ahead and like, grabbed one of those boxes. And as I'm shopping, I put it all in a box. So it was all real handy. Well, I bought two 18 packs of eggs. And, you know, you have to show the uh, receipt on your way out. So I still had it in my hand. Well, I put it in between those two uh, egg cartons to hold it all together and just so it didn't blow away while I'm walking to the truck in the rain. Well, it got rained on and started tearing on me. So I just left it in the truck in between those egg cartons, right? So when I got home, luckily, it, it kind of slacked off a little bit. So I was able to bring the box in at one trip, bring everything in at once. It was so handy, y'all. Well, the, the receipt was still wet, so my brilliant hack is I microwaved it for 30 seconds to dry it out. It worked, didn't it? There's the back of it. Nice. Yeah, it did. It actually did. It, it, um, it ended up, you know, being dry, and then that way I could scan it, because I scan all the receipts for points. Because a lot of times, I would, uh, when I would go get gas, I'll just tell it, you know, I don't need a receipt, but I'm starting to collect them now, so yeah. she can scan those, too. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, oh yeah, we know. Yeah, because I'm hoping I get enough points that by the time of the cruise, I can cash in some of the points for a Starbucks card that I can use on the cruise. Oh, nice. Jackie said I'm currently waiting on a pizza order, so don't worry if anyone thinks I'm texting and driving. <laughs> Crafty said I've been diluting my Zevia with carb water. Oh, I think carbonated water. I like it better. They are they were really too sweet for me, except oh, wow. for the creamy root beer. That's what I find, especially with the fruit flavored, like the strawberry, the grape. They're just a little too sweet for me. But that's an idea to kind of mix it with my topo. But that creamy root beer. Oh. That's my favorite flavor. But here recently, I've only been able to find it in a 10-pack at Sprouts. Or when I go to Sam's, I get it then. Yeah. But it comes in like, a, what are they, 24 pack or what? No, not 24. What is it, 32? It's 18. Right? Yeah, 18 pack? Oh, it's a box mm -hmm. that has a handful. I mean, there are multiple different flavors. That's the only way I've been able to find the creamy root beer. I've yeah. never seen it in a six pack. And I've seen people posting pictures online of them buying 12 packs of Zevia. I've never seen that, though. Not here. Not mm -hmm. here in Houston. Mm -mm. 
Or even in Austin, we've gone there. Joanna said, tomorrow I'm making shrimp and garlic butter over riced cauliflower. Oh, that Ooh, that sounds you really know, good. We still have that one package of uh, shrimp. shrimp in there. Ooh, we'll have to do that soon. Yeah. Jennifer said, has anyone tried your mama's marinara? Mm-hmm. Oh, we have? Yeah, I've had The marinara? Had back in the day. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while. Wow, that sounds good. I guess it has a little kick because it's your mama's. Yeah. <laughs> Like slap, slap your mama seasoning. Radical Geek is here. Hey, hey Matreya, man. how are you? Mm. Bluegrass Girl said, my poor coffee all alone since 11 a.m. Aw. Well, you'll have to warm it up and then keep it close to you so it feels feels wanted again. Radical Geek said, jealous of the nice weather. It's rainy here and cold. Without no cold here. Uh, Cynthia said, Hi, everyone. Snowed here in Portland, Oregon. Oh, wow. That's not normal. Wow. Wow, Cynthia. No, oh, that's, I didn't think Portland got much snow. Alan said, We're having pork car car. So oh, what good. Is, what is that? Yeah, what's pork car car? I've never heard of it. That sounds really good. Um. Oh, there's. Uh, okay, is is Renee here? Uh, and it helped if we knew her, her name this week. <laughs> okay, and oops, I think it tripped a little. There we go. Um, let's see. Everybody back and forth. Joanna said mozzarella. And Shauna said, traditional mozz and cheddar. Oh, yeah. When I asked what cheese do you... Oh, Ben, ben here was driving. Okay, so Renee's in here. So now we all have to be good or she will twist it. Um, so Shauna likes mozz and cheddar. Cheddar. Ooh, I like this. Sarah said provolone. Oh, that's a good idea, too. That is good. Make it like a Philly pizza. Now, I know who would like the Philly pizza. Uh huh. Uh, Cynthia said, awesome. I live in the suburb outside the city. It's a nice place to be. Yeah, Portland, Oregon. I enjoyed visiting uh -huh. there. That It was a nice city. Downtown, though, it was a little mess to try to find a parking spot. Mm -hmm. Remember, we had to go around. We wanted to eat at this one restaurant. I forget the name. Like Red Door or something like that. And we had to circle the same area like 10 times before we finally found a spot it was mm -hmm. just ridiculous because there was like no parking at all no parking paid parking nothing so i was like well, where do people park if they want to eat here <sighs> mm. another trip we could try for now on though just to make sure hmm. you know if we uh, the hotel or the airbnb just get an uber and that way we make sure we don't have to worry about the parking. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I, mean? I mean, especially if you're paying for parking. Well, yeah. I don't know. Well, we drove through Portland, yeah. is why. Uh, Jennifer said mozzarella, some Parmesan, or uh, Romano. Oh, you know what I could have got? Right. I want the Sam's. They got that big jar with screw on lid on it. Or that shredded parm would have been good on this, too. Mm. What boiler's been on? Oh, shoot. It's still. Oops. Mm. I'm on it, boss. Mm-hmm. No wonder it feels so hot in here. I do love a fresh parm. Carrie said, then the pizza would be so gouda if you had gouda cheese. Right. That's right. It would be gouda better. Radical Geek said, mozzarella, parmesan, romano, and provolone. Mm. I like that. For those of y'all that are late, I don't know if you saw it, but we put goat cheese on it, too. Yeah, the goat cheese is good. It gives a nice little creamy part to it. I mean, the only way it would have been better... Oh. We'll put come with a uh, dapper goat instead of the Costco. Yeah, but I honestly can't tell a huge difference between those. No, can you? No, we always get the flavored ones. Yeah, that's true. That's the only reason I'm saying. Yeah. That's going to be a little bite. Mm. Mm. Gary said, we need some bacon on the pizza. I don't think about that too, but I already have pulled pork, so. Yeah, Brenda said... Did you only put mozzarella for the crust? Yeah, that was it. We just sprinkled mozzarella on the crust or for the crust and put it back in the 425 oven for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then we pulled it out 
And then we put all our toppings and then baked it again, 425 for another five minutes. And then, of course, we're always extra. So we put tomatoes and then just kind of put that under the broiler so the tomatoes would cook. Another way would have been good, too. Oh? Some on it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, that would have been good with the, like, with the butter marinara, to make a sauce. Good. Yeah. Or some MCT on it. Oh, right? Mm. And if y'all saw at the opening, the picture I did when I did the promo stuff for it, that's actually ours we made a couple of weeks ago as a test run. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And y'all, I'm so excited about what we're making tomorrow. <laughs> I know. I hope I hope y'all got a chance to look at that, the channel members. It's so good. Seafood Saturday. Mm-hmm. Which reminds me. Uh-huh. Really chewy. Um, a couple of y'all have asked about the, how to make the cowboy butter. We're going to release that video on Monday. So just our take. It's so easy, y'all. It's just so. And you can customize it however you want. And it's such a great sauce for steaks, burgers, chicken, whatever, whatever you want to do. The cowboy butter is like perfect and for any Renee of who told us about it first. She said she saw it what, on TikTok first. I think so. So somebody making it and said, well, we need to do our version. Right. In fact, I have uh, an idea for it, too, for a coming video, too. Oh. We're going to do that one recipe where we glaze it with it. Oh, that's right. And I'm also going to have a big cook coming up on Sunday. I'm calling it my super super cook Sunday. I'm oh. cooking three meals that day. I'm going to do some meal prepping. Yeah. I'm going to uh, smoke a rack of beef ribs like I got on sale the other day. They've been floating in the uh, – it's been about a month now or so, right? They've been Probably. sitting in the freezer. I need to finally cook them. And then we got a huge pork loin. They had them on sale at HEB for like $1.97 a pound, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to smoke the uh, the beef ribs. That'll be our dinner Sunday night. And then the pork loin will be our dinners for the rest of the week. And then I'm going to do our regular uh, bacon cheeseburgers for the for lunches this week. So I'm going to cook everything up on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I've been enjoying having those uh, burgers for uh -huh. lunch again. Mm. This garlic sauce was awesome. Thank you for that idea. Oh yeah, and that uh, the whole package of ground beef you had me get the other day it was just in the fridge. I just moved it into the freezer. Right above oh, it. okay. Yeah, it was like ground beef was on sale for I think two ninety seven a pound. Uh -huh. So I was like, well, while it's cheap, you got to stock up. Right. Mm. This is so good. Sorry, y'all. Joanna said, as a snack, sometimes I melt four cheese Mexican blend. Ooh, that's good. With pepperoni in the microwave and eat it. Yes. Yum. And it's filling. Yes. That's so good. Oh, felt like I was going to sneeze there. All right. This is so frito. That sounds perfect, though. I mean, cheese and pepperoni. See, that's very fatty, both uh -huh. of those. That's great. And then Shauna said, Shelly, what kind of cheese do you like? Me. Yes. Uh-huh. Wow, about loud. That's right. Sarah said, blah, onion, meat, mushrooms, and olives. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, LG3919 said, onion, black olives, and bell pepper on meat lovers. Macros makes it in a bowl. Oh, Marco's. Oh, yeah. That's right. We um, sometimes have gone to Marco's and got it in the bowl. Mm. Last bite was a little spicy, y'all. Mm -hmm. Probably part of a habanero. Shauna said, I chopped up garlic stuffed green olives and put on top of my pizza with bacon crumbles. My mouth is ecstatic right now. Uh, That's awesome, Shauna. I was going to grab my phone. Before. I took a picture I was going to send you while I was at, a, a, at a Costco. Uh -huh. I had a big jar. It looked like, it was, uh, like $9 or something like that for it. Of like olive tapenade or whatever. Uh -huh. But like the third, but uh, the only reason why I didn't send you it, because I, what I'll do, y'all, when I'm shopping, I see something I think she'll like. I'll take a picture and send it to her and say, hey, you want me to get this? And I, I'll, of course, tell her the price, too. 
but like the third ingredient was like soybean oil. So I was like, all right, well, she's going to want it. So Right. Why do they run it like that? Right. That sucks. Uh, Alan said the chicken crust pizza is the best. Oh, awesome, Alan. And then um, there was one other one, too, but I can't remember what it is now. Oh, it was um, uh, the, the mayo you had me get. What was the brand? Oh, Primal Kitchen. Yeah, they had a buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. But it had cornstarch in it. And it says mm -hmm. keto on it, though. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Y'all do so good on the other stuff. Why are you messing up that one? Well, well some people are okay with yeah. with eating that as well. Yeah, but um, it was a it was a, a twin pack. You know, how yeah, they take them together. Mm -hmm. I was, I was going, oh, that sounds good. And um, of course, reading read the ingredients, so uh -huh. I put it back. I but know. It felt like a car door just slammed. I didn't hear anything. Weird. It was the ghost in our house. Obviously. Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, mm, "Black garlic on pizza." Oh, oh. who done that? That would be good. We oh, have, that we still have some. Dang it. Yes. You know what? I'll put some in that for frittata. Oh, there you go. Alan said, pizza is my jam. Yes. Oh, that's awesome, Alan. That's definitely heat. <laughs> that's why y'all heard me say before. It was really difficult for me to go keto because my three favorite foods were always pizza, burgers, and tacos, which is bread, bread, bread. So I had to find workarounds. And we did. And I think it's better this way yeah, because I'm too, not actually. filling up on all that bread because right, I was always a thin crust person, but mm -hmm. I didn't like the little, like, I just wanted the toppings, mm -hmm. honestly. That's what I wanted. That's why I thought it was so weird. You order the pizza and you get a side of breadsticks. I'm like, it already has bread. Why are you getting breadsticks? <laughs> right. We never ordered breadsticks. No, I got wings. Yeah. Wings is always really good. But yeah, we would just... Eh. The, and this is so simple and easy. And to me, that's that's what I liked was all of the toppings. And we've done, done this hack a couple of times. So I learned it because I actually, when I, I tell you, I had a roommate that worked at Papa John's. I also had another one. We we had like three or four of us living in the house together. One of them worked at Papa John's, one of them worked at Pizza Hut. I can't <laughs> remember which one it was. I don't remember which one it was, but they had a, they had a dessert pizza. Oh. And... Uh, one time uh, they messed up. They didn't clean the pan correctly. So when they made my next pizza, it had a little sweet, uh, the cinnamon underneath it on the bottom of the crust. Uh huh. And it was amazing. So I started doing that. Or like when I get the Totino's or the frozen pizzas, I'd sprinkle the uh, sp uh, cinnamon onto the pan first before I put it on there and baked it. Or even a little drizzle of cinnamon on top of it too. Uh, powder cinnamon. Well, because um, remember, your friend was telling us yesterday the secret yeah. ingredient to his chili was cinnamon. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say that. Yeah, because yeah. he likes Skyline chili. Yeah, he loves Skyline chili, the five way. Uh -huh. And I was like, no, we we always got it three way. Um, which did, if, if you hear that conversation uh -huh. without knowing what we're talking about, that just sounds like totally different. Mm -hmm. Shada said, I did too bad today. Big breakfast, kept my hands busy crafting and made this pizza for dinner. Well, that's just awesome. And then now you're full for like ever, right? And Shauna said, oh my God, I have hiccups, loud, painful ones. Oh no. I'm sorry. It was the olives. Yep. I just played. That's what you get for I'm sorry. Yourself. Hey, Shauna, you know the best cure for that? Deviled eggs. <sighs> Jennifer said, Heath, are folks at work jealous of your lunches? What? No, because I work at home, so they never yeah. get to see it. No. Um, my job. That used to be. Right. Same thing. I work from home, too. But I do sometimes, you know, to try to be engaging with the rest of my team. I'll be like, hey, what's everybody have for lunch today? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'll go into it. Or sometimes, like. Um, I'll say, oh, on Friday night, we're going to do this on our live and I'll explain what we're making. And usually people are like, oh, that's cool. And then they dubbed me uh, this week the um, the um, f food or guru. Or yeah. Home. Yeah. The restaurant. Uh, like basically I'm their personal Yelp because oh. they um, so they. Our one year that our department's been in the current place, and so they flew up all of the managers Must and higher nice. ups to Draper, Utah. Like, y'all, 
I was like, if I got, if I was just up there and I could have gone to Draper, like I could have been right there by Keto Chow. Right. But anyhow, so they flew him up to Draper just to have a little like celebration <coughs> of one year and doing stuff. So then they had like this big meeting with all of us. Like we're anywhere from Utah, Ohio, Missouri, Maryland, Texas. And so we were all in this meeting and then they had like a, a little slideshow and they were, you know, everybody was like, you know, where you share about yourself, a fun fact, right? Ugh, I hate, I hate those. I hate those. Does anybody else hate that? Like, tell us a fun fact about yourself. I'm like, oh my gosh, the worst ever. And um, so when my manager told me, you know, yeah, she's flying to to Draper, I said, Oh, that's not far from Salt Lake City. You got to eat at the Red Iguana. Uh -huh. And I don't know if she had time because she like flew back last night. Oh, like wow. everybody else was waiting till this morning. And uh -huh. she's like, Nah, I have a nonstop. I get, you know, that night and they were supposed to get snow. Okay. She's like, I'd rather get home. Right. And I'm like, Well, I think it'd be nice if I was stuck there. But right. anyhow, um, but yeah. Uh, so I don't know if she got to go there, but I was like, oh, I would no. love to go back there. And so then, yeah, they talked about that in the meeting. They were like, oh, Shelly's like our our food foodie person. She'll tell you where you can eat like in any city because that was one of my fun facts is I've been to all 50 states. Uh -huh. So they're like, oh, so where should we eat here? And I'm like, oh, goodness. A whole thing. The only thing with that, though, the red iguana, when we went, it was pre-keto. Oh, yeah. And so I don't know if we would even find anything to really eat there now. Well, there would still be some stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's Mexican. But, the, but it's awesome, though, because their um, they're claim to fame is they have, what, nine different moles? Yes. And it was nine. all all of them were good. Because And that's what I was telling her. I was telling my manager. I said, they're known for you get a mole sampler plate where they'll bring you like all nine of their moles and their green chili stew is the bomb yes and so um but i don't know if she made it mm -hmm. but i was like oh, i would totally jealous there. i know i was jealous uh brenda said y'all are killing me i'm so full from lamb chops and oh. brisket now, oh that sounds amazing good, too but lamb chops brenda lamb we chops we haven't had that in a while either that's so good. Usually we get lamb chops when we go to the Brazilian. Yes. I love or lamb chops. That one barbecue joint. Oh. They only do them on Fridays, remember? That's right. Yeah, there's this one uh, barbecue joint out in Katy, mm -hmm. um, Texas, and they do lamb chops smoked on yeah, Friday. so good. They're and they so only do them on Fridays. Freaking good. So yeah, if you get lamb chops, if it's done right, it's so delicious. Yes. Um. Uh, Shauna said, "I'm crafty to watch you guys make crab chili." I don't know what you're talking about, Shauna. <laughs> Uh, Matreya says, tomorrow is the Keto Ohio meetup. I know. I know. I'm so We're so jealous we can't be there with y'all, but I hope you have fun. I know. Please share pictures yes. in our group. And wait. And do like you did last time and represent and wear my shirt. <laughs> I love you. Oh, Alan says that they mix a cheddar and mozzarella. Ooh, yum. Mm hmm Right, family said, we have to fix our watcher. So much fun. Oh, Aww. don't you hate that when things have to be fixed? Yes. It's like, just work forever. I want to buy an appliance one time and it worked for the rest of my life. Why is it that possible? Right. Carrie said, just studying and I have a computer lab to work on, trying to figure out how to put more food in the fridge since funds are fleeting. Oh, sorry. Oh, I know that's rough. Uh-huh. MG3919 said, ready, set, keto's chuck roast in the oven. Oh, oh wow. yay. That's going to be delicious. Yeah. Bluegrass Girl said, plans, sell jewelry inventory on my TikTok account. Oh, oh cool. Oh, that's an idea. Share your TikTok, Sarah, so yeah. people go and follow you. Yes. 22 Q Cat said, I plan to make your chocolate pecan cinnamon rolls this weekend. Nice. Ooh, I can't wait. I hope you enjoy them. And please share. Yeah, share mm -hmm. pictures. Mm -hmm. Cherry said, heading to the ball fields in the morning to watch my little great nephew play ball. Oh, oh how awesome. fun. 
age six. Aww. Aww. Reading, weeding my garden beds remains on my to-do list until I get them done. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. That's like not the fun part, right? Of having a garden is having to weed it. Oh, how fun. Well, you're going to have so much fun tomorrow. Oh, somebody said hello, ready, set, keto. I didn't see I them. I see either one of them. Uh, I don't know. Um, and Jennifer said, yes, the Keto Ohio meetup. I know. I'm so excited. Y'all have so much fun up there. Uh -huh. Reichwood said, um, I will be here for the cookie tomorrow night. Nice. Otherwise, same old, same old. Yay. I can't wait. I know it, it does sometimes feel like life is just on repeat, right? Yes. Like it's almost like Groundhog Day. Get up, do the same thing. Get up, do the same you thing. You know, I heard they put a, uh, a part two out for that movie, right? Have, you heard, have I told you all that one? When you open up the CD, the little booklet for this uh, the DVD and everything, you pop it in, it just plays the, the first one again. <laughs> I just love that joke. <laughs> This is perfectly imperfect. Keto said, I made pizza for my keto fam today. Nice. The coconut flour fat head dough version. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. A little bit of ricotta and Alfredo spread on the crust. Ooh, that sounds good. Topped with mozzarella. They love it. That sounds amazing, that Zana. Oh, now y'all are making me miss some ricotta. All right. When we go get the uh, heavy cream, we'll get some ricotta. If Aldi has it. Well, then we'll get uh, H-E-B. There's one right down the road. Lisa said, I'm making marry me chicken right now. Oh, what is that? Ooh, I've never heard of that. Busy weekend. Um, it's like a really creamy chicken dish. It'll make you marry me. Mm. Uh, MG3919 said, moving more stuff to the new house. It has two ovens. Oh, wow. wow. Swanky. How nice. Show off. <laughs> Other than having to move the stuff, right? right? Sarah said, make chicken crust pizza and keto granola. Ooh. Oh, wow. oh, that reminds me. We do have an announcement coming on the 28th. Yeah, when is that? Oh, why did it jump to? Oh, I see. So Tuesday. So we will be, I know normally we release videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. But we will be releasing a video on Tuesday. So make sure you all stay tuned for that. Special and, announcement. Right. It's a special announcement again. So I'm excited because we're going to be doing that recipe tomorrow. And we'll be putting that out on Tuesday. It, and I'm just really excited about this recipe. I think it's going to be delicious. And I think with spring basically here, I think it's going to be like a really great spring recipe slash dessert. That gives you a hint. Alan said, I leave off the sauce as that was uh, Jason, uh, the carbs. Oh, leaving off the uh, marinara. Yeah, that is a way to cut the carbs for sure. Bluegrass Girl said, I had corned beef hash today. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at you. That's awesome. Sherry said, I got the thin ribeye steaks last night at Aldi for $8 a pound. Oh, wow. wow. That, those are good. It's so quick to just cook up those thin ribeyes like two minutes and you're done um shauna said i like to chop up sun-dried tomatoes and put it on the first layer of cheese oh that's a good idea yeah and you know we have a whole jar of sun-dried tomatoes yeah that we got at trader joe's where are they at they're in the pantry yeah they're in the pantry yeah they are all right um oh thank you shauna we should have done that that's so good next week it's like you want everything, right? But actually, you know what? Remember I messaged you earlier and told you what we're making next week. That one that my mom tagged me in? That one picture? Oh. Do you want to give my a, a prequel? I mean a prequel. A, a preview? Yeah, because I have totally forgot. Well, you pull up your phone and oh. just pull up the the uh, pictures from what I sent you earlier and told you my mom tagged me in it years ago. And told us we need to make oh, it. Oh, okay. That was our personal chat? Yeah, just you and me. Not PG chat. You know what you can do, though? <laughs> Scroll back down. Oh, and to do the picture? Yeah, oh, just, that! Yeah. Yes. Did we tell them? Uh, well, remember you said you were going to do a little teaser. Uh-huh. Well, so it, just say, don't it, describe what it is. Just say what it name. is. The name. We're having turtle burgers. 
Teenage Ninja Move. Teenage <laughs> Mutant Ninja Turtle Burgers is what I'm gonna make. Oh, really? Yeah. T N M T. What I'm gonna do? We'll get some uh the tricolor or um, T M N T. I'll get some uh, the colored peppers. Yeah. I'll julienne them and lay them on there, and that'll be their little headbands. What? I thought that was brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. We're gonna we're gonna be eating. Uh, was it Raphael? Yeah. Michelangelo, and Donatello. Donatello. Uh huh. Who was the fourth one? Um, Leonardo. Leonardo. Mm, yeah. But then if we just get some right, uh, some little rat, we can have some uh, sprint, splinter. And what about uh, Wendy? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> it's not after hours yet. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of after hours, when I first read this name, I did not read it correctly. I'm glad I did not say it out out loud. I'm glad I read in my head first. Jesus crust. <laughs> Is that her name? She did that too, just to mess with you. That is so evil. Oh man, I totally. I'm honest, y'all. I did not read it like, like I no. I and I Shame cannot. Shame on you, little one. I cannot say how I read it because that would definitely get us demonetized. But yeah, I, thanks. She said, sorry, finally headed home, driving and listening. Hey, Horde, happy Friday. Don't be upset if I don't reply for a bit. I'm just listening. That's fine. Everybody message Renee. <laughs> and Matreya said, laugh out loud. Jesus Christ. Perfect. I'm saying. Joanna said, I bought more jarred sauce and cheese today for pizza. Oh, nice. awesome. Lisa said, I use the same Tupperware in my house, Shelly. <laughs> See? <laughs> And we have another one in the fridge waiting to become Tupperware. <laughs> I know, right? Because I always buy the, the y'all saw the size. I always buy that. That's my, uh, uh, the, the sour cream I buy. I always buy that one. If I don't buy that one, then I get the squeeze tube one. Oh, wow. We're, are we an hour behind on comments? Don't tell me. It, oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, Brenda said, I made keto hot dog buns. Going oh. to make a loaf of bread tomorrow. Oh. Oh, Brenda, please share the pictures yes. in our Facebook group, the Hungry Horde headquarters. I'd love to see your hot dog buns. Yes. Make Heath jealous because he, he wants those so bad. Because we have a pan where she we, we bought so she could make homemade. So I'm wondering if your recipe would work in those in that pan. I know. She y'all pre-keto, she was an amazing baker. <laughs> Seriously, she y'all, the first meal she ever cooked for me. Was homemade chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and she didn't use a box, the flakes or whatever. She used homemade potato or made them, you know, from potatoes. <laughs> I, I mean, from potatoes. Like, like she used she made mashed potatoes from an actual potato, not the box stuff. And then she made green beans. Growing up, only way I'd ever had green beans was from a can. She made them fresh. And cook them up. What do you put in onions in it? So how I used to do my green beans. So if you eat green beans, I know they're carbier, but this is how I do it. I in my skillet, I put uh, bacon down, like you know, just little chunks of bacon. I cook that till the bacon's crispy. I pull the bacon, so then you have all of those um, the grease. grease, and then I take my fresh green beans toss them in the bacon grease like really well then i would add um chicken broth um but just enough to almost cover them not not all the way then i would turn it on low and i just let them simmer for about 30 minutes or so till the broth's almost gone and then i would at the end toss it again and then I would add that crispy bacon back and then serve it to him like that. Yeah, but yeah, she made all that and she made a cream gra cream gravy for it too, homemade. Of course, she was, back then she was using flour. Yeah. And she breaded the chicken fried steak and everything. She made all, that was the first meal she ever cooked for me. Mm -hmm. It was like, what, maybe our third or fourth date, I guess? <laughs> maybe. And I, that, that's when I was hooked. I was like, yeah, I got to hang on to this one. <laughs> oh, that's when you yes. decided. Although, hooked. although, a little in here, he probably won't want to admit this, but a couple weeks later, because like we weren't. Official. <laughs> well, no, we were like, uh, we 
started dating and got married within four months. So everything's real quick. But a couple weeks later, I was like, okay. So I told him how I felt. I was like, you know, I, I think I love you. And what does he do? Your phone's breaking up. I don't know. Don't hurt their ears. What does he do? He goes, I don't think I can say that. Well, I don't want to get hooked. <laughs> Trapped. Trapped. My whole Trapped. life, I've always said, well, ever since you know, I became of age to understand everything, I was going to be date, 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 die. I was never getting married. And then I found this one. And now look at me. So I tell my friends, I'm fully domesticated now. <laughs> I don't know if I could say that. And I like almost cried. I was like, I can't believe I told him how I felt. Why did I do that? After I slaved making you that dinner. You slaved. I'm saying you had a hard time. You almost exhausted yourself explaining what I cooked. I actually cooked it. <laughs> hey, I love you. Mm. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Bluegrass, I mean bluegrass. Blue Dove is here. Hey, hey Jamie. Jamie. She said, Howdy, horde mates, horde mistress, and horde master. Long time, no Friday night feast. I know. I was wondering where you've been. Uh, we missed you. I know. Uncle Big Guy. Hey, I like brother. that. Just getting off work and jumping in. Well, thanks well, for hey. joining us. You're just in time for the dishes. <laughs> Jackie said, It's on my end, or does he seem more quiet than normal? Oh, I didn't know he. Somebody's been telling me I'm, I'm being too loud. And Uncle Big Guy says, "Howdy, y'all! Hey, howdy, man. howdy, howdy." Uh, Joanna said, "I love olives, but only plain and cold. See, that's me too. They have to be cold. I will do the like uh, garlic stuffed ones. I think are fabulous." Where was it? Was it uh, Trader Joe's or Aldi? Where you found those like three or four different? Yeah, ones? Aldi one. Aldi did. So I might pick me up a jar tomorrow. Um, but I do like those, Don't but I like the them cold. Y'all, huh? did y'all know it? Aldi are selling uh, their um, buggies for 25 cents. You are rolled tonight with your little jokes. Shauna said, ha ha ha. Okay, y'all. I just posted a 13 second video of sizzling skillet pizza. Ooh, oh, nice. on the Hungry Horde headquarters. We'll have to go look. You know what I want to do next time now? Uh -uh. It's been forever since we've done it. Oh. I want to do the skillet pizza on the Blackstone, though, the way we used to do it. Oh. We haven't made that in forever. Because it's 80 degrees outside. Right. <sighs> Shauna said, I love sun-dried tomatoes. I do, too. Mm -hmm. Lisa said, I love green olives on my pizza. <laughs> Don't be a hater. No bueno. Marie said, sprinkle on your olives after you take it out of the oven. Oh, I never actually thought of doing that. I haven't either. I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't like olives. Exactly. Oh, goodness. Shauna said, I love green olives, stuffed olives, black olives, Kalamata olives. Okay, Forrest, which other one? <laughs> oh, yeah. There was also a jar of uh, the stuff. What was it? I don't think it was a uh, tapanata. What was it? It was the um, mufalata is what it was. Oh, yeah. But it it's a, canola oil, yeah. right? No, it was the one with the soybean, soybean oil. Oh, that one too? Yeah. That's the one it was. It wasn't. I tapanata. love mufaladas. Yeah. That's Blue, what it was. Bluegrass said, um, love pickled green beans, but not cooked. Oh, no. I I've know. I know. I know. Huh? I've never had pickled green on. Uh, Green beans, Green beans. No. yeah, they're. I mean, they're good because it, you know, you eat them basically cold or room temperature. Um, but yeah, cooked. I was like, oh mother. <laughs> yeah, she's fun. Reichwood said pickled green beans are for salad. Ah, oh, oh. I can see that. Or a nice charcuterie board. Oh, okay. Shauna said, my friends that used to make me dilly beans moved to Idaho. Oh. What are dilly beans? I don't know. What are dilly beans? Never heard of it. Sorry. Uh, Joanna said, I never ate pickles until I was 20. Wow. Never liked them. Now I only eat garlic dill. Can't Ooh. bring myself to eat anything else pickled. Oh. Wow. My garlic favorite dill. used to be mm. either the bread and butter yeah. or the sweet gherkins, those little mini, mini ones. Oh, yeah. I you did love, love those. those. Uh, I'm a vinegar lover, mm -hmm. so I basically love anything that's in vinegar except for eggs. I'm sorry. I have tried several different times, 
but pickled eggs, I just can't do. Remember I that can't. somebody? I think it was. I think it was Renee who got us the jar of yeah, pickled she did. quail eggs. I made him eat them. I ended up making them and put them in like a, an egg salad. Yeah, I'm just. So I finished um, it off. I think it kind of goes back to like Shauna, how she doesn't like deviled eggs because of the texture. That's how it is with the pickled deviled eggs. It's really that texture of it. And it, it's really um, dominant when they're pickled. Like that's all you get is that texture. And I'm just like, I can't do it. <laughs> I tried, but everything else I like pickled, but I love vinegar. Like I will straight drink vinegar. Like I love vinegar. Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, sitting here slicing ripe bananas that family did not eat. Ugh. Don't you hate that? Can't you freeze those, though? I thought that people freeze them now and then put them in for, um, like, banana bread and stuff. Or dehydrate them and make them into chips. That's true. Well, I don't know, though, if they're already extra ripe. Right, I don't know. Might be hard. I don't know. Shauna said, I see plenty of tomato slicing room. <laughs> Bluegrass Girl said, make it banana leather so they will eat them. Okay, so you are dehydrating them. Sana said, let's keep all 10 fingers tonight, Heath, <laughs> when you're slicey. <laughs> Lisa said, I have a weird allergy to bananas. I mean, I do too. They make my blood sugar go up. <laughs> uh, 22Q Cat said, maybe tonight Shelly can get her dinner eaten before the end of the night. Unlike last week, no cold food tonight. Right, and that was the advantage of having it in the cast iron skillet because that stays hot longer. Oh, that's true. So my food stayed hot tonight. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer said, Heath, take two lids like country cock, crock, put your cherry tomatoes in between like a sandwich, yes, yes. then run your knife blade between the two I've lids. Before, All yeah. tomatoes are cut in half with one pass. Did you ever try that? No. Though? You need to try that trick. I just use a serrated knife to cut them. Yeah, but you could still use that, and then then you mm. could cut like eight at once. Yeah, maybe. You should try it. Okay, I'll get uh, that on that. Okay. Uh, Carrie said, "You're welcome, Heath." Thank you. And then Shauna said, "Sometimes we made butter because we got fresh gallons of milk from the neighbor's cow. Oh, Four, wow. Full four to five and cream on top. Oh, wow. that sounds good. Rocky Mountain Girl said, it started raining. Oh, no. That's no fun. Mary said, flour sacks make great dish towels. That's right. Oh. See, I, that's what I used to love is how they would make stuff mm -hmm. that, you know, just like used to. Like I used, I sell, I sell them out every time I get them, but the jelly glass jars. Because uh -huh. used to when you'd buy jelly or jam, it was in a glass, mm -hmm. which made the perfect size to serve like to your kids for juice and stuff. Someone on your arm. No. Is that a bug? No, it's. Um, like from the cast iron, I probably. I have there. some wet naps over here too. If you need one, no, it's oh, all. Right. It was like from this. I Schwitz. probably went like that. Um, it looked like a bug though. Three two Q cat said, "What's for dessert tonight, Shelly?" Oh, I'm so full right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking sure... I'm making a creamy, but I don't know. I'm so full. Right? Um, I am too. We'll probably melt down. In fact, he already got it out. A uh, keto brick later. I just don't want to get up yet. <laughs> I'm um, so full. Joanna said, flower sack company found out that the poor people used them to make clothing, so they started making them with prints on them. Yes, Aww. I heard that. Isn't that so nice? I, I just love when companies do that kind of yes. thing. Rocky Mountain Girl said, that looks so good. And Thank it bless you. you when I sneeze. Thank you. Jennifer said, contest. Who could bring the most unique silverware to the meetup? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't bring any of that. I will have plenty. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I Well, I, I do have some um, skeleton bone silverware. Yes. <laughs> Shauna said, laugh out loud. That Reminds me, you know, when you are up late and can't sleep and you need a snack, it's called, you know what it's called? Mm -mm. Insom nom 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 nom. Wow. <laughs> oh, Shada. Wow. Y'all are all kinds of jokes tonight, isn't it? Shada said, okay, what was in that garlic butter sauce? So, garlic and butter. 
no, it wasn't just garlic butter. So melt your butter first. When it's almost melted, add about a half tablespoon, tablespoon, depending on how garlicky you want it, of minced garlic. Stir that up. And then I did a splash of lime or lemon juice, just like a teaspoon of that. Put your salt, whatever other seasoning you want. And then to thicken it and to, you know, add a little more fat, what I did is I tempered with an egg yolk, not the whole egg, just the yolk. I slowly drizzled that in, uh, whisking with the egg yolk. And what that does is help make that sauce thicker. Because sometimes I notice with like the cowboy butter or others, it's a little too um, liquid because of the butter itself, you know, all the water in it. So adding that egg yolk will help thicken that up. And then that's it. That's the other thing I was supposed to get at Costco today and I forgot. What? The tall jar of the minced garlic. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Because I just know we use it for everything. <laughs> Crafty Carnivore said, that looks so delicious. Good Thank night, you. everyone. Not feeling good. Aww, oh, no. Hope you get to feeling better. Going good to night. bed. Have a great night. Good night. Aww, I hope you feel better, Hyla. Oh, man, I'm so full. Aww. And then Brenda said, looks delicious. Thank, Thank you. you. Shauna said, no fruit on pizza, but tomatoes. <laughs> Joanna said, I can't do pineapple on pizza. There's something about hot pineapple. Oh. I, yeah, it is. It, that is like one of the most debated things is, does pineapple belong on pizza? And I mean, I, I did like it I at the time. Too. But, you know, part of it is probably because we were sugar addicts. Yes. And that was just another way of getting sugar on the pizza. I remember, too, was it was it Fogo? What are, one of the Brazilian joints we used to go to all the time, they would serve oh, as a, kind of like a dessert. They would yeah. use the, 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 the roasted uh, pineapple. That was really good. And it had that the cinnamon was. shook on it. Oh, my gosh. That was really good, y'all. Keto Simples here. Hey, hey Justin. Brother. Said my go-to pizza is pepperoni and sausage. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Especially the hot yes. sausage, like the hot oh. Italian. No, 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 no. The hot and spicy. That's what we need to do next time. The hot and spicy from H E B, you know, the two. Oh yeah. Do that and do the meat pizza on the bottom of it, and then uh -huh. put pepperoni. Oh, that'd be so good. Let's do that <laughs> this week. Um, I don't know why you keep saying this week when we're gonna be having pork every night, the pork tenderloin. Yeah. And we're having beef ribs Sunday night. Yeah. Maybe because I don't have the. I haven't thawed the beef ribs yet. We might do that next weekend. Gigi's here. Hey, Gigi. Hey, howdy. Say good evening, everyone. Hey, welcome back. Uh, Jennifer said, my eldest grand beauty, aw, I like that, is a super picky eater. When I saw her boyfriend had her eating pizza with banana peppers, I knew she was in love. Oh, nice. Wow, banana peppers. Yeah, that was peppers. the one cool thing with uh, Papa John's when they'd give you uh, the, the sweet pepper, the, the, the little pepperoncinis. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Radical Geek said, oh, I'm excited for Saturday Live. Oh, good. I hope you're going to be there. Shauna said, did she have to go to the butcher? Laugh out loud. Oh, wow. Jennifer said, if you make the portobello pizzas per bake, oh, pre-bake, the mushrooms, that they need more time than the toppings. Oh, uh, that's right. Right. Yeah, they need to get softer. Good call. Oh, just Jason Keto said, I have a birthday party to go to tomorrow night, so I might be later than usual, but I'll still try to go live for a while. What oh, time? awesome. Because I don't want to over. Oh, yeah, because ours our... is at six. And but we'll don't... usually go to nine or ten or something sometimes. Yeah, but don't don't work around our schedule. Yeah. But, oh, I hope you do. Have fun. Sherry said, thumbs up, y'all. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Jackie said, I'm the opposite. I'll only eat olives on pizza and dr pepper is gross Aww, oh you're breaking my jackie, heart jackie 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 uh keto simple said the live last week with just jason keto was a blast yes yeah, yeah it was really enjoyable i yeah. had a good amount of fun thanks to everyone who joined in and chatted with us yeah it was a great evening i really enjoyed that Shauna said, the last two Saturdays I was at my friends for dinner. We cooked together. She's keto too. Her hubby is fake keto. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, keto uh, simple. I saw your recipe the other day when you made the, the keto hash browns. Those oh, look yeah. really good, brother. 
I want to try making that recipe because we do still have a bag of the uh, cauliflower rice. Right. I want to try making that. He, but you know what? I want to top it up. I'm going to bump it up a notch. I'm going to put some diced jalapenos in it. Of course. But that uh, looks good. Jesus Christ said, aw, y'all making me blush. Oh, that's something. Uh, Radical Geek said, aw, just climbed into my preheated bed. Perfect. Uh-oh. That good means, night. That means Matre is probably already gone by now. Mrs. Perfectly and Perfect Keto said, Woo, finally get to sit. Oh, wow. Finished eating, loaded dishwasher, clean kitchen. I've been deep cleaning all day. Well, it is spring. Like, right? this is the time to just deep clean, get it all cleaned and out, right? Yeah. Don't we have another uh, uh, cast iron pan the same size as what you had? Don't we have one more that size? I don't think so. Uh, I was thinking maybe I, think I should have had one that between side. the two. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I should have had that one instead of the giant. <laughs> I I'm, know. I'm hurting. <laughs> it's deceiving because you see this and you're like, oh, what is this going to feed? A four year old? And it is super I'm filling. I'm five, though, so I need the big one. That's true. That's what you think. Jennifer said, we're going to lose Radical Geek Sue, right? Right. <laughs> She's already gone. <laughs> Sherry said, so, not so fun fact. Laugh loud. I just started a new elimination and I'm taking dairy and cheese out of Aww, my diet sorry. for at least seven days, but hoping for 90. Butter is still in. Also, sweeteners are out as well. Oh, wow. And she's two days in. Well, Ooh, good, good luck, luck to you. I hope it goes I, well for you. Yeah. I've definitely done the dairy free for a while and I know I still kept to butter because that's fat. So. But I thought you also did cut out the fat from I mean, the butter for a while, but you went the ghee instead yeah i did try to use ghee as much as possible yeah. but if i had butter it wasn't like a big deal uh -huh. but good luck to you because yes. i know that's trying especially there's so many things that call for cheese but you can do this you you'll do it after after the third fourth day it's it usually gets a lot easier Jonna said, mine is an eight inch skillet. I've eaten two and a half pieces and i'm getting full i wonder how pizza would work in migas Oh, I mean, I think that would work. You could just uh, maybe what I would do is just like slice up the um, pepperoni, you know, not have the full circles, like quarter them and then mix that in as like your meat. Um, and then maybe make like a little marinara to drizzle on top afterwards, like when you plate. Let us know you're creative. You can get it. Um, everybody's saying, oh, Matrey is going to be gone soon. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ said, so this morning at work, we were told we could now be mass free. First time in three years. Wow. Patience too. All day I kept reaching for my mask to pull it up or pinch it on my nose. Felt naked. Right. Aw. Wow. That is something. Uh -huh. I Hopefully that'll stay in place. Right. right? Jennifer said, but that had preheat, but that preheated bed will knock her right out. I'm right. saying that on a cold, chilly night. Mm -hmm. Keto Simple says, Chandra uses a heated blanket. I like a nice cold bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're definitely team cold bed. Yeah. We have that chilly. Yeah. And in fact, before we went live tonight, we went back you, there. You turned it on? Okay, yeah. I forgot to. That's what I and asking. turned our beds on so that when we go uh, after the live, when we finally get to bed, it'll be nice and chilly yes. in there. I love that thing. I don't know how we survived before the chili pad, y'all. Yeah. I really don't because... It makes us sad when we're, we're on the cruise, we're on vacation at the hotel where they don't have it. I'm like, oh, man. This is I know. Rough. I know what it is because you. This is how the you, other half lives. Huh? You get so used to having a nice, cool bed because I like he is. He always runs hot. Like yes. he's just always really hot. Like sometimes I have to be like, you're can pretty you? sexy too, baby. Oh, I know. Uh, sometimes I have to be like, can you just scoot like two inches over because you're like you're making me sweat and I don't like this. He's been on the couch, y'all. Sitting next to you on the couch, and I move my leg over and touch her. She kind of pushes me away. She's like, back off, brother. I know. I don't like. I don't like like um, when I touch her because I'm her husband, right? Because here's my leg, and his leg will just be like just barely there. Like you either need to go full on or just back <laughs> it's after away. Dark, baby. It's after <laughs> after hours, yeah, that but I'm just like, no, just kind of, and, and then he's so warm, and I'm like, oh, please. Like I've been wearing shorts this week. 
uh, to work because I work from home. And <laughs> you're on camera, so it doesn't matter. Right. Because it's just like, ah, uh, especially in the afternoon, because my my window in my office, it gets all of that sun and it just like feels like an oven in there. Even though I put, you know, that stuff on the uh, windows, it still gets pretty warm. And I'm just like, oh, warm. And then we have a leather couch. So, you know, that don't absorb nothing. And so, yeah, I just can't. I'm just like, okay, you're going to need to back off, back off. And plus he does the man spread. And I'm just like, okay, you don't need to take up the whole couch to sit down. Uh, Shauna said, hey, Renee. Uh -huh. Um, So, Renee, oh, that must feel so free, right? I would be like you would get to where you almost for, like you said, you're like, oh, I need to, oh, yeah, I don't have a mask. Well, see, <laughs> We haven't had to wear one like we go anywhere in public, but I still carry it in my pocket just in case. I do too. Because some places are still funny about it. Well, I do it because sometimes I see people who are, are you know, you could tell they're sick and I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to wear it just in case. Because <laughs> like when I went to get my fingerprints done today, I was thinking I might need to wear it, but they didn't ask me to, so... Oh, that's true. Yeah, some doctor's offices and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Matreya said, Heath, no cream needed for the frittata, just cheese. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you don't have to use cream. I want to though, because that recipe we do is really yeah, good. Yeah, that's true. We can do. And we need more mushrooms. That's right. Um, Joanna said, but back, "Thank you." Yeah, back when I was nineteen, I used to go to the local diner and had an open face pizza burger. I oh. never had one. Definitely addicted. Yes, that sounds really good. And then Alan said, never enough cheese. That's right. right. Shauna said, 2023 pre-cruise shenanigans in 68 days. Uh-huh. Um, the... I like that. She's not doing a countdown to the cruise. She's counting, doing a countdown to the meetup. I know. Well, no, to when she's here. Oh, okay. Even, even the pre-meetup. <laughs> and then she said, to the low-carb cruise. Yeah. We have both 71 days and 12 hours. Oh, nice. Well, that's pretty good because my uh, one coworker, she was like, oh, you've just got three months until you cruise. And I was like, well, close. 70 days. I told her 70. I was like, I know it's close to that. Uh, so 71. I wasn't far off. Um, so, yeah. I'm like, it's less than three months now. Uh -huh. Oh, that's kind of scary, though. I uh, know. Shauna said, is birch beer made from trees? Serious question. I mean, I would think, I thought it was from like, no like the sap or something. Joanna said, enough cheese. Is that a thing? No, it's not. I like some cheese on my cheese. Oh, Alan said he'll have to Google that. Well, I hope we get to the response. Uh, Jackie said, I want to get a whole pizza on the cruise and eat all the toppings. The carbonation is what I don't like, except in soda. Oh, okay. We've done that. We've actually ordered the whole pot, brought it to the table, and we shared it. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what we were doing is we would each order a whole pie and bring it over like, oh, I want a whole pepperoni. Oh, mm -hmm. I want a whole – yeah, because that's so easy to do because you're just eating the topping. So, well, one of the I mean, cool I things, though, that. we figured out on one of our uh, princess cruises is they actually made us a crustless pizza. But they, on this uh, – uh, Royal. Royal, they said they wouldn't do it. I know. So we would just order a whole pizza. Uh -huh. Each person would be like, I need a whole pepperoni. And then we would take turns. Uh we'd uh, see who could get the most crust on their uh on their plate. How many, how many, how many chicken bones? I mean uh pizza bones did you have left? Right. So the carbonation, so I guess you like the soda for the flavor and not really the carbonation. Just let it go flat and then drink it? I don't know, maybe. Uh, Keto Simple said Pepsi, like Coke, has a diet Pepsi and a Pepsi Zero Sugar. Wow. Alan said, not my kitchen. <laughs> uh, Joanna said, I almost bought the Pepsi Zero today, but got a Keto Soda instead. Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, I think I saw that. The um, Vir Virgil's or something. Oh, really? So we bought them before. You used to love their root beer. The only problem yeah. I had with them, I just thought it was weird. Every time I could ever find them, it was in a four-pack in bottles. I know. No, they had them, and they're like tall boys. Oh, they did? I never, never saw those. All I saw was the bottles. Yeah, it sprouts. They're okay. the tall boys. Okay. But it's a four-pack. Still. Uh, Shauna said, that sauce would be great on eggs, right? Oh, especially on hard-boiled eggs. 
you are just too much. You can slap him, Shauna. I will look the other way. Uh, Mrs. Perfectly and Perfect Keto said, my mom too, Shelly. She was obsessed with Coke. I couldn't stand it. Me neither. And I think that's why I never drink sodas is because I saw my mom drinking literally a six pack every single day. And I was just like, oh, no, I'll just stick to water. And that's all I drink as a child was water. Like it, until basically I met Heath. I mean, I would occasionally I would drink lemonade. Because, again, I love sour. But so she I would hate drink... country time. Oh, no. Love. No. I'm sorry. I should correct myself. Real lemonade. Homemade. I didn't like any of the powdered lemonades. Like, that's just sacrilege. So, um, I would... I loved, like, real lemonade because it was sour. And then I did love homemade or... Um, fresh made root beer so not like i know a lot of people are gonna hate but i did not like mug i was like oh that's disgusting to me but if it was like a you didn't small like barks either did you no not really yeah. i mean occasionally if 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 i really wanted a root beer barks a and w is probably my favorite root beer um, but well, I would say in the national brands, but I preferred like if it was a small batch place, like sometimes when you go to breweries, they make their own root beer for the non-alcoholic people. I love that stuff. Or when we'd go to like festivals, there was always somebody who made their own root beer. And I love that. What I don't remember what it was. My dad had some kind of infection or some kind of dietary problem. He said he he was a truck driver for I don't know how many years. Like growing up, that's all he did basically until he worked started working construction with my grandfather. But he used to take like two or three two liter bottles of Coke and Pepsi. He kept going back and forth every time. Uh, I think it was mainly when he would switch. He used to love Coke, but when they changed it, went to the new Coke or whatever, when they re redid their formula, he hated them. So he switched over to Pepsi. Started drinking it like religiously, but then he had something go wrong with him, and the doctor told him it goes when you open it, he can't have it. It would mess with him. Oh, okay. I don't remember what it was he had though, but that's why okay. the doctor described. That's why he always described it. <laughs> it sounds so country. <laughs> it sounds like my dad too, though, doesn't it? Yeah. If if it goes, don't drink. <laughs> right. But then he figured out root beer didn't mess with him, and he used to love. He would even buy the diet root beer because he thought he's being healthier. <laughs> but he used to buy the two liter bottles from the dollar store. But did that go? <laughs> yeah, but he said any. Yeah, but root beer didn't mess with him. Yeah, that but, was the, but the other ones. That yeah, didn't mess with <laughs> right. Oh, that's too much. Uncle Big Guy said I was a Coke guy before they changed it. See? That's what that, my dad was. There, there you go. Uh, see, mine was always Dr Pepper. Yeah. That's how um, Texas I am. <laughs> Jennifer said, I wonder what heavy cocaine in the original version did for the taste. Right? <laughs> right? I guess after a bottle, you, you didn't care. Tell them about when we went to the, 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 the museum, the Coca-Cola at the, the factory. The Coca-Cola one? Yeah, when we visited them and they had Coke from all over the world. You tried different flavors and stuff. Yeah. She hated it. Oh, my gosh. I just, I, I again, I'm just not a cola person. Nothing, no hate. To me, it doesn't matter if you like Coke, Pepsi, yeah, I'm talking about the flavor, RC, though. um, whoever makes a cola. I've never liked any cola flavored drink. So when we went to the Coke, um, Coca-Cola Coca -Cola headquarters in Atlanta, we did their, you know, little tour thing and they give you a free, any Coke, well, I guess it wasn't any. Uh, when you first enter, you could get Coke, Coke Zero, Coke, like Diet Coke, Coke Caffeine Free. And I think you got a regular Coke. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I'll try the Coke Zero. Or were we keto then? I can't remember. I don't think we were. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, no, because we got ice cream afterwards. Right. Uh, but anyways, and so I was like, well, let me try the Coke Zero. Maybe that'll taste different because I've never liked Coke. I tried the Coke Zero. I was like, this is horrible. And I gave it to Heath and he was like, Bleh, and he threw it out too. <laughs> and then we go through the whole tour thing. That was a whole other story, y'all. But I had to do a video just on that. Right. But at the end, they have Cokes from around the world where like each station was a different country. 
And I just don't like Coke, like uh, any of the colas. So I never try. I didn't even try any of those. Because like when I buy my Zevia, I either buy them like a, usually it's either at Sam's or order from Amazon. Well, when you do that, you get the box. It's multiple different flavors in there. So a lot of the, a lot of the flavors she does like of the Zevia. But she'll come over, look at my can, and ask me what flavor it is. And I'll see it. It's so funny. She'll see it. It says cola on it. She's like, all right, never mind. I push it back away. She's like, never mind. I know. that, And I know he does that just so I won't drink it. He's like, no, it's cola. Like, oh. I never buy just the cola on its own, though. No, you have occasionally. Because the one you had yesterday was the caffeine-free one. That, that was from, that's from Amazon. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. two or three of them in there. I, I don't know. Do it. That's just because it's a multiple pack. Yeah, multiple. yeah. But that's me. Not, I just I don't care about. Uh, uh, I'm fine with drinking caffeine, so it doesn't bother me. But to me, it tastes the same. The flavor is not any different. The only problem I have with Zevia, it messes with my head a little bit because all if y'all never pay attention, all of Zevia's sodas are all clear. Drinking Dr Pepper and Coke my whole life, they're supposed to be you know the caramel coloring. It's supposed to be brown, <laughs> so clear it looks funny. I like well, it's not Sprite. It's not Seven Up. What is this? Right. Ugh. Yeah. And that's one thing is because I had so many issues with my Crohn's ulcerative colitis for years that they would, they would, you know, whenever I had a flare up, which was all the time, cause I was eating wrong is they would say, Oh, just drink clear liquid. And so then like I would water like I always do. <laughs> yeah. I was like water. And then they were like, Oh, right, here, here's or in the hospital, they would bring me Sprite and seven up uh -huh. and I can't, I still, uh, not my favorite thing to drink. Like I can have a topo with a lime or like, you know, sometimes at the freestyle machines, I'll get like the lime or lemon flavored sparkling waters. That doesn't bother me, but the Sprite or seven up, I just can't do it anymore. It's like medicine to you. It does. You have it like does. PTSD from it. It's like Rachel. Remember when Rachel says she can't do grape anything uh -huh. because of, you know, medicine as a kid. That's how I feel about Sprite and seven up now is because it, I'm just like, oh, I had to drink that all the time in the hospital. Well, Shauna said, um, I cut way down on the bank, but I replaced it with sparkling ice, zero sugar, which oh, I wow. like, especially when I get it for 69 cents and 79 wow. cents at the grocery outlet. Wow. wow, that's awesome. Alan said, is that liquid or powder? For what? Um, what did I miss? I'm sorry. I don't know. Who knows? We are an this hour was behind. an hour ago. Oh, wow. Um, Why are you so far behind? I'm cooking? Yeah. Sorry, fella. Sorry, folks. Uh, Radical Geek said, I made a rare eye of round roast and then sliced it super thin. So Ooh. delightful. Ooh. That sounds good. Uncle Big Guy said, I love the way it burned my throat as it went down. Oh, mm. the old flavor, the old Coke. Uh, Shauna said, I'm pretty sure after I die, my body will continue on for at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Patty's here. Hey. hey, Patty. Said, I'm late. Just getting home. We'll have to watch the replay tomorrow. We had a neighborhood drama as we drove Aww. into the driveway. Uh-oh. Had to hurry and get the groceries in the house to stay out of the drama. Oh, oh wow. That's no I'm fun. Sorry. sorry. I hope it, uh, it ends soon. Radical Geek said, oh, um, I'm the opposite. I love hot beverages. Well, yeah. Obviously, know. coffee talk. Yeah, that's right. I love hot beverages, too. Not me. Uh, Keto Simple said, I went to Costco tonight. So much fun in the club. Oh, what did, did you get anything fun? Uh, Shauna said, um, warning, element tea in sparkly water is a great sub for eight great science volcanoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. That is so true. I've done that before where I've added like a little bit of element and you have to do it like really slow. Otherwise, <laughs> I started to get the oh, uh, thank you, Rocky Mountain girl. pepperoni at, I, uh, at Costco today. You know, the twin bags? Oh, yeah. But you, you told me to get the one from H-E-B instead. Yeah, because it was just a couple dollars. Okay. Lisa said, I'll grab receipts off the ground and scan them. Yes, yes. I've done that too. We have done that when I've we seen, see like, when them. I go, especially when I go through the, uh, the self-checkout lanes. A lot of folks leave them there, and I'll bring them home and give them to her. Uh, Shauna said, because I just had to suck down some frothy element, right? <laughs> then it's just like having straight element. <laughs> Patty said, I grab 
all the loose receipts people leave behind, right? And I always wonder, like, how are these people, why are they leaving these receipts behind? Uh, Shana said, I have all those apps. Which one uh, Which one do I scan into? Yes, uh, like, all of them. Yeah, I scan them all. Like, I, would, I usually go through my receipt pal and scan all of those first. And then, because um, those are just straight, you have to, you just collect four, get you 100 points. And then I go through my fetch and because fetch is doing a daily reward i only scan one receipt a day for fetch and then on ibotta then i go through and look and see if we bought anything yeah if we bought anything to get points on ibotta which we don't get too many anymore um so i just go through them she'll use a coupon on a coupon she has to that's right i'm so proud of her Probably, you'll probably heard me tell the story a bajillion times, but I just love it. She, such a nerd, I love it. She, when she does her taxes, I don't know if she still does it, but I know in the past she's told me she's done it. She'll do it on H&R Block, and then she'll also do it on TurboTax. And whoever gives her the biggest return is who she finalizes with. Well, and then this year, because so many of them are starting to, you know, now that we have the YouTube, YouTube channel mm -hmm. that's considered self-employment oh, so so now usually i could always do it for free and but now because of you know youtube we had to uh that's considered different uh self-employment and so we had to they were going to charge us like all the h and r block and the turbo, turbo and i was like oh i don't want to have to pay pay money to file this i mean i'm, I'm doing all the work the, i'm already paying the government well, i gotta pay you too i know and i'm doing all the work well i found one i mean if you haven't filed yet then i could probably look it up but it was like tax for free or something but anyways i was able to file everything completely for free nice. which i'm like i'm doing all the work right. i'm inputting everything i'm filling everything out but if you did that, it was completely free. And I'm like, yeah, because they wanted to charge like $70 to, Once and I'm like, or a year or something. No, no. Well, uh, not a year, but you know what I mean? It was a $70 fee to file for self employment. And I'm like, okay, like this, I mean, the money we get from YouTube, we didn't even break even because by the time, you know, you figure all the fees and, you know, we try to reinvest what we get every month into like better equipment and things like that. So it's like, so I'm going to have to pay an additional $70. So I was like, uh, uh, I'm going to find a way. And of course, this is why I like TikTok because they came out and somebody on there was talking about, Hey, did you know you can file your taxes completely for free here? And I was like, Oh, let me try. And sure enough, life hack. I know. Uh, Jesus Christ said, Wow, I would never do such a thing. Mm hmm. Shauna said, I also don't suggest sparkling element in your nose. Oh, no, that's not. That's not what fun about at all. In your ear? Jesus Christ said, I love electrolytes and sparkly water. I mean, it's good, but it takes a while to get it in there. She, Renee said, just walked in the casa and outside with the hounds. Oh, nice. Um, let's see here. Everybody talking. Uh, excuse me. Matreya said, Dyson crashed out and is audibly snoring. Nice. I love that. That's so cute. He's like, come on, sleep with me. And Renee said, love pupper snores. I know, they're so cute. Uh, mine once in a while have light snores. Isn't it cute? Like, you're like, you know what? The dog snoring is so adorable, but the husband snores. <laughs> Rude. You don't even know that you snore. I don't. Uh, Reichwitz said, the only thing better was when my grandmother would make apple fried pies and I would take them to school for a lunch wow. treat. Wow, that's that sounds really good. nice. Joanna said, today's my kitty's birthday. Oh, she's from Russia. Chocolate Point Siamese. Oh, wow. how pretty. And she's six. Oh, how nice. Happy birthday, little kitty. Aw. Shauna said, how many cowboys do I need for this butter? Not easy to find a true cowboy in my parts of California. 
I just just one good cowboy should do it. You might have to go to Montana though. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Sana said Heath. So there's going to be a meal prep video coming up. No, well, uh, short. A sh uh, yeah, we're thinking we're just going to do it as a short. Because oh, I've already seen the videos before how I make the the, the burgers, how we cook them on the Blackstone and everything. But you were also going to record like a little snippet of you doing the beef ribs and then one of the tenderloin, right? Just yeah, and then put just it all to together as one. Yeah. Well, because I was figuring instead of doing uh, each night of you know here's what I eat. I was going to do one video saying, here's what I ate. Because that way you don't have to do a whole, uh, an hour long uh, MS journey. Except if we start to rant again. Right. Uh, Alan's Awesome Keto World said, come to the Boots and Buds of Ventura. Oh. oh. Wow. Um, Reichwood said, my dogs sit at my feet while I'm eating, hoping I will drop something. Right? Ours, well, you want to tell them what you train them to do? They got spoiled because I'll have some little stuff left over on my plate and I'll put it on the floor and let them lick it off before we put it, you know, wash it and put it in the dishwasher. Now they expect it every time we finish eating. Yes. Sam will be there patiently waiting. Staring. And if I take too long, like we're trying to, we, you know, we usually, I, we like uh, eating while we're watching a TV show or whatever. If I'm taking too long, you know, waiting for a, sp a good spot to pause it and come in here and do it, he'll start barking at me. Yeah, well, it's it's one bark. One bark. Yeah, he'll do that because he's staring, waiting at Heath the whole time, and he's like, you know, at attention like the whole time, too. and he's just like, oh, oh, when am I gonna get to lick the plate? And then he'll get so worked up, like you can tell, I'm he's excited. getting so excited, and then all of a sudden he'll just let out a little, yep. ah! and then that's it, and then he's just like, oh, I hope that can sit for me. <laughs> so cute. I wish we could catch it on video one day. I know. But yeah, and uh, so now they're they expect it every night, and not every night do we want to give them our plate. But then they like are like, oh, "Hey, where's my plate? You're supposed to give me a plate." <laughs> and even if I just give them an extra treat, we we have the bag full of dog treats. I give them that, and they're still not satisfied. Yeah, they they're want like the plate. Okay, where's the plate? Alan said, "Chris Young is the entertainment." Oh, that's nice. Um, oh, Rocky Mountain Girl said, Gotta scoot. Oh, Good night, y'all. Right. Good night, Cindy. Oh, Alan's in Camarillo. Oh, nice. Look at y'all on the West Coast. Shauna said, Papa Murphy's is a take and bake here. They make a pizza bowl, but there is something about the flavor of their meats I don't like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've noticed too, because we would sometimes go to a Papa Murphy's that's by the Sprouts. They're like next door. Yeah. Well, the same the, shopping center anyways. Every time I did, it we just didn't sit well. My coach says because they use a cheese blend, so it's not exactly 100% cheese. But I don't know. It was that or the meat. Something just never sat well with me. And it's delicious when you eat it, but it just never sat well with me. Tell the time Sam took my, my pizza. <laughs> yeah. That's when we first got Sam. And he had gotten up to do something. Had to go like refill my drink or yeah. something. And Sam just reached up and grabbed the pizza bowl off the counter. Oh, uh, off the table. <laughs> oh, I was like, no. Joanna said, in case someone thinks cats don't beg, never met mine. Laugh out loud. They're terrible. Yes, they do beg. My cats, when them, they would definitely beg for stuff. The one cat princess, when Shelly wasn't paying attention to her, she would reach up and claw her right in the knee. Yes. She was like kind of mean about it too. I know, and, but she would. She would even take stuff off my food plate, yes. remember? Yeah. She was like, oh no, I want that. Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, all of tapenade is easy to make, right? It is pretty easy. Shauna said, the coast is gorgeous down there, right? And Alan said, yeah, I love the concerts at the fairground on the beach. Oh, I bet that is nice. Uh, Shauna said, one of the pizza places would make a super thin, crunchy crust. That's why I like to do the skillet pizza, make my cheese crispy on the bottom. Uh -huh. Same. That's how I love it. 
Joanna said, growing up, my next door neighbor owned the local pizzeria. They were Italians off the boat. They made the best pizza. I still compare all pizzas by theirs. Oh, wow. I bet that was amazing. Mrs. Perfectly Imperfect Keto said, I still remember when Pizza Hut had dining room with a salad buffet, right? Oh, do I need this? No. Oh. I was, I was going to, there was a fly land right there. I was going to try and smack it. Oh, that's lovely. Do you remember the Pizza Hut with the salad bar? Yes. Uh, Shana said, did he say something? All I hear is dead air. <laughs> You're probably being Was it snippy. Pizza Hut or Pizza Inn that did the Rabdar Gab? What? They did a rewards when I was in school. They did a thing. Just read a book. Oh, that was. Report. report pizza. The pizza. pizza Rabdar Gab or something like that. It was a weird little way they said it. Joanna said, there's a restaurant bar where I lived in New Jersey that's known for their thin crust. The best is, as far as I'm concerned, name is Kinchley's. Oh, Google it. I oh, remember growing up, one of my favorite places good. to go was what they call it pipe organ pizza. And they had this whole little display of an actual pipe organ that would play during the, while you were there eating. And it was some of the best pizza. But also, I was like maybe six or seven years old when we went. So my, my standards were very high, obviously. Obviously, yeah, six or seven. Yeah. Uh, Sana said, my parents are still good friends with an Italian couple that owned a pizzeria in Allendale. The couple has since moved, but the food was so authentic. Wow. Oh. oh, gosh, you guys. Jennifer said, maybe you could ketify a recipe for Jamaica, Jamaican patties. We've yeah. been looking at it. Yeah, since we have a dumpling maker we've been thinking and about empanada it. maker. Yeah, we want to do some Jamaican patties. Those are so good. Yeah. Jennifer said, I have an ugly refrigerator. It'll work forever. Well, that's even better, right? <laughs> well, see, that's what she had when we got together. She had an old, ugly refrigerator. She just had it in the garage. It was just sitting there because she just stuck it to where she bought this one we have right now. Or she when she bought this one rather. So we me and a buddy just cleaned it up and put it out there and we turned it into a beer fridge. And now it's a Zevia fridge. Yeah. I mean it's handy having yeah, another fridge. It is handy. Yeah. My tray said, laugh aloud. Unfortunately, the shirt is dirty. I wore it yesterday. Oh, well, at least well, you wore for it. Yeah. Uh oh, Alan said, time for dinner. Good Have night. a good one. Hey, Lloyd's here. I was hey. thinking about you, Lloyd. He said, hello, gang. Nice to see you. How howdy, are you howdy, doing? Howdy. Good. I'm really full. And Alan said, later, everyone. Have yeah. a good weekend, Alan. Blue Dev said, at some point, you'll buy something that works for the rest of your life. Oh, that's sad. It's called Shelly. So death do us part. Yeah, so you have a short life, I guess. <laughs> uh, Bluegrass Girl said, love me, love, marry me chicken and butter chicken. Oh, yeah, butter chicken. Because, you know, we've been looking all on um, um, virgin voyages. And they have a vegan or vegetarian restaurant, y'all, which is like, oh, sad. But they have a secret menu at that vegetarian restaurant. And one of the things is butter chicken, real chicken, not, you know, fake stuff. And I was like, ooh, that would be definitely a dish we could get is some butter chicken. Like, I would go there just for the butter chicken. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Shauna. Joe the Butcher. Hey, hey bro. JDB said a little late, but hello, everyone. How are howdy, you howdy, doing? Howdy. Uh, Carrie said they might eat shredder. Right. Uh, and then Jesus Chris said, laugh my butt off. Mission accomplished. Sean said, not sure they'll catch up before we lose heat tonight. Well, look at that. I did. But I, I wonder if this is like, surely I'm not still an hour behind. Um, oh, oh, Renee said that we'll be pulling a 2KK catch up. I haven't skipped anybody's comment yet. We'll skip hers now. Bluegrass Girl said, Shelly, will you send the pizza directions? I came on late. I actually need a crust and bake time. Okay, sure. I'll do that. Uh, send me a message later, Sarah, just so I, I can message you back and remember. 
Shauna said she knew how to get you. It wasn't the chloroform. Um, uh -huh. It was the meal. That's right. He got me with the chloroform because he knew better. Renee said, we only had fresh green beans when mom was alive, and she always used bacon grease that she kept in one of the dad's empty glass popcorn kernel jars, right? Shelly married that dog sitter before he could change his mind. Right? <laughs> she left me to watch the dogs while she went to Disney World, y'all. Yeah, we had only been together like a month, and I was like, look, um, would you mind staying at my house? for the week while I'm at Disney World to take care of my animals. Is it, I also had the uh, Coco then, uh -huh. my cat. And you were like, okay. George. Yeah, George. Uh, and so he stayed at the house and took care of my animals. I was like, oh, yay. I get a free, <laughs> a free pet center. <laughs> oh, you're still paying for it. <laughs> oh, I know. At the time, I thought, oh, a free pet center. Like, how trusty was that? After a month, I'm like, hey, just come on over. I'm that guy. Oh, yeah. Shauna said, fully domesticated. But is he housebroken? Sometimes. Uh, yeah, see. Depends we, on what she feeds me. We agree there. Renee said, fully domesticated? Yes. <laughs> and Sherry said, fully domesticated, laughing at that. <laughs> hey, what did she tell you earlier? I did the laundry and the dishes. I know. And he makes my coffee every day. Because yeah. that's what you were telling your buddy last night. You were like, hey, look, dude, I know you drink coffee, but I make her coffee every day. <laughs> well, it was, as it, was, it should be. It's a pretty good trade off, too. She makes dinner every night. That's right. Uh, Blue Dove said, last week I went. Uh, to a St. Patty's Day party. Oh, wow. And the week before that, I had food. Oh, food poisoning. Oh, sorry. oh, gosh, that sucks. Glad to be back, though. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better now. Sarah said, still have not used my black stone for Christmas. What? Because what of the cold for? weather. What are you waiting for? Renee said, Shelly, did you ever add hot sauce to the olive jar? Oh, no, I forgot about that. Well, when I buy more olives tomorrow, Mary said, no olives any which way. Correct. Last Heath. Correct. Shauna said, um, You're one of the good guys. A, a muffalata. Oh, it's my gosh. Disgusting is what it is. No, it's not. Muffalata. It's a, a New Orleans. Oh. I've no always, ones. always loved mufaladas. It's basically, so you, it, it's like, think of an Italian sub, right? You've got all these meats, and then you top it with an olive tapenade, and sometimes they'll put cheese, and then it's like toasted. So, yeah, that kind of, you know, when I'm like, oh, I don't like pickled things heated, but I love it on the mufalada. And then you just, and then the bread itself is toasted, and it's just, you know, so it's we need so to do, amazing. We need to get, like, especially, like, Radical Geek's bread. Remember the last time she made it for us? Oh, right. Get some of that and make you a muffalata with it. <sighs> uh, Mary said, dilly beans are good, but don't cook. Oh, well, what are dilly beans? I miss what they are. We're going to have to Google it. <laughs> Shauna said, laugh out loud. I have a pic of me about age four at the beach in the sand with nothing but an empty Lindsay olive can. Wow. <laughs> oh, Shauna said it's canned dilled green beans oh. is dilly beans. Oh, oh. thank you, too. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. exciting. Well, so pickled green beans. Yeah. You just call them dilly beans. Oh, okay. Then you don't have to say, these are pickled green beans. You just say dilly beans. Okay. See? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, pickled green beans, dill pickled juice meats, green beans. Mm. Uh, Renee said, the mufalata is one of New Orleans' most iconic Sammies. Oh, it's so good. Made on large rounds of sesame bread and layered with olive salad, Genoa salami, ham, mortadella, provolone, and Swiss. So good. See, I you just need to figure it. out make it the bread and make you one. Yeah, she said lots of variations, but the key is the olive salad, definitely. 
Okay, Matreus also said, dilly beans are quick pickled green beans. Mm. Sana said, my grandmother used to make the most yummy pickled veggies. She always had people begging her to make them some. Oh, wow. wow. That would be good. Uh, Renee said, I've made mufalata bowls. It's so good. Right? Well, and that's what I was saying earlier. I really do love, like, cured meats. Like, ugh. I mean, Genoa salami is not my favorite, but I will eat it. I do prefer more of a hard salami, but then the ham, the mortadella, the provolone. Oh, my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Shauna said, once again, what is a mufalata? Google uh, it. Uh, let's it's an see. abomination. Oh, that Sammy. Oh, it's so good. They're going back and forth. Shauna said, sandwich. Uh, not sure why the... ED is there. Oh, that's all right. Um, it is so good, Shauna. You'll have to, you can do it in a bowl. Melissa K. Hey, hey welcome howdy, back. Howdy. So just got back home from or back home, the hotel that's home for at least one more week, trying to get some pool time in before the sun completely sets while listening. Oh, Aww. how nice. Thank you. Joanna said the brothers were Frank, Sal, and there was a sister. Frank opened his store in Allendale as an adult. Oh, how fun. Uh, Renee said, Jackie, you'd be mauled for saying that about Dr. Pepper here in Texas. Right? right? They'd be like, oh, or Big Red. Uh, I'm not Heath, a big fan. Yeah, Heath was never a Big Red of, or a Big Red fan. Nah. I did kind of like Big Red, but it is very sweet. And then I did the whole thing where you put the peanuts in it. Yeah. And that was, that. I mean, I enjoyed it. Heath was like, that's the stuff. I'm not going to put peanuts in my soda. I don't like floaties. Keto Simple said, I bet they would be amazing with spicy things in them. Can't wait to know what you think. Oh, what? With spicy things. What did I miss? But yes, all spicy things. Uh, Lisa said, bad mouthy big red, definitely a crime. <laughs> See, uh oh. Heat's heat, you're you're being served. Yeah. You're you're gonna it's go not to that jail. I hate it. It's just it's not as impressive as everybody thinks it is. She said, Did you know they now have big red zero? Okay. Lisa said, Okay. I would probably try the big red zero. Uh uh Shauna said, I've never had a big red unless it was gum. No, no, it's actually a drink. Oh, look, two crazy ketos stopped hey. by. Hey, Joe and Rachel. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, Renee said, yep, I used to love Big Red Zero, but got a few little bottles that were off and very little flavor, so it kind of ruined me. It is hard to find, um, you know, a, a, sometimes with those, like if it if they're in a bad batch, it just ruins it. Oh, Joe said, Rachel's sleeping with the chili bed on cold and then a heated blanket on high. I mean, cold Whatever's in the back and warm in the front. Right. <laughs> 22 Cute Cat said, oh, my God, a chili pad would never be on my bed. The electric blanket stays till about June. Oh. Love a toasty bed. No. Oh, wow. Well, but. You're not like down here where it's just hot all the time. We have a ceiling fan above us, and I even have a fan on my lot nightstand pointed at me. Yeah. Shauna, I even have a fan I take with me on vacation. Yes. Uh, Shauna said, it's 6.30 p.m., too early for PJs. Ask it for a friend. I mean, Shauna, I wear PJs all the time. So She's wearing them right now. I'm wearing them right now, um, and I wear them to work. And um, she just doesn't wear them to Walmart. She's not one of them people. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing. I don't wear them out of the house, but I do definitely wear them in the house. I mean, what else do people actually dress up to sit around the house? Some people do. Oh, wow. I remember I had that one roommate, and he would get up every morning and put his socks and shoes on. I'm like, wow, where are you going? Because I don't know. I just want to be ready to go if I need to. Oh. I'm like, oh, okay. And I hate wearing shoes, so yeah. that that would not be appealing She's to me. She's Miss Flip Flops, what she is. Lisa said, I wear jammies all day. I will toss on a nice shirt if I have Zoom. Exactly. But I even got it fixed on my camera to where it only goes from, from here up. So, like... Any shirt I wear is good enough because they're only going to see from here up. 
So that's fine. I've even seen people do it like on our on the teams meetings and stuff. They'll have a little thing for the backgrounds. You can't even see the room. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. I, I use one of the team's backgrounds uh -huh. so that then they, they don't see your they mess. don't see everything. Um, but yeah. Because her office is also her uh her Etsy store. Yes. Shauna said, I mean, I work at 9 p.m., but client will be in bed. That's fine. That's cheating. We're still full. Shauna said, oh, I'm so full. The thought of more pizza right now doesn't sound so good, right? I bet you're full. Uh, Renee said the uh, price of the towers of crust from last year. Oh, the pigs were too funny. And their city giving the okay was the icing, right? That was so funny because last year I told Heath because it was like 11 o'clock at night. And he was like, oh, I really want pizza. And I was like, no, you don't need pizza. You're just doing that because you're bored. And Nurse Cindy comes walking up, right? Because we're all friendly. And Nurse Cindy was walking up. And she's like, hey. And what did you do? I said, Nurse Cindy, can I have some more pizza? She goes, yeah, sure. Do you want me to go get it for you, baby? I was like, Nurse Cindy. And she's like, it's fine. You can have some pizza. I was like, <laughs> Hey, that's why you're my favorite. <laughs> I know. Jada said, Heath, face orange raised eyebrow. What? What is that? She's mad about the uh, horrible day. Oh. And Lee said, face blue smiling. I've never seen these stickers. Bluegrass Girl said, I used to ferment my own root beer soda. Oh, wow. I bet you did. You need to do a sugar-free one. Uh, Renee said, I do buy AW Zero bottles, but it takes several days for me to go through a 20 ounce. I don't know how you do that because I, I would probably drink the whole thing. Right, family said, Brantley said hello. Howdy, howdy, howdy. You're supposed to say hey yo to Brantley. Hey yo. Uh, Mrs. Perfectly and Perfect Keto said, We are so much alike, Shelly. I've always been primarily a water drinker from a young age. Then when I met Hubby, he got me hooked on real sweet tea. I only had it with dinner. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, I think that was, be, since I was uh, raised by non-Southern parents, like my mother is basically from California, even though she is a, a, a Air Force brat, you know, she kind of went all over, mostly in California. And then my father was a Yankee, a Canadian. Uh, well, I guess he wasn't Canadian, but, you know, like, the that's where, family. That's where his folks were from. Right. And so none of them drank sweet tea. Like it's I don't dirty even, water. I don't even know what my father actually drank. I don't know. I don't know what he drank, honestly. I don't remember that. But I know my mother drank Coke all the time. So I just drank water because I was like, oh no. And then yeah, never like nobody ever made sweet tea, so I never drank it. And I think my thing is like, I like the flavor of tea itself. And so I don't, I feel like sometimes the sugar overrides the flavor, kind of like with coffee, because I prefer the coffee unsweetened. And so sometimes when you put a sweetener in it, you don't really get the coffee flavor. I don't know. That's me. Uh, Renee said, my dad used to call Pepsi poopsie. Lisa said Costco has a variety pack with AW Root Beer Zero, Seven Up Zero, and Sun Kiss Zero. I didn't see that. Oh wow! But then again, I didn't. Oh, because I didn't look at, at Costco today at their sodas. Oh, right. Ugh, sorry, I'm wearing these shorts. I'm not going to show you because they're short. Uh, but this is a wicker, wicker, sh wicker chair, and you know, if you sit on wicker and you don't have any clothes, how fun that is. Um, huh, but see, I wouldn't want the seven up. I don't know. Did you ever like Sun Kiss? It, it was okay. Yeah. Jo uh, Joanna said, I've always loved Pepsi. It's sweeter. The new Coke was disgusting. They said, Stop that. Uh, Renee said, Her nearest Costco is Heath and Shelly. <laughs> wow. Tweet TQ Cat said, I don't know if it was a local thing or not, but we had. Mason root beer in the glass bottles. Never seen that. And it was the best root beer when I was a kid. That was like a hundred years. <laughs> was not a hundred years ago. 
Wow. I know, right? I'm trying this chair. Um, wow. No, I've never heard of Mason root beer, but in a glass bottle, that is like top shelf. Because to me, like if I was to get root beer, it needed to be in either a, like, you know how they would chill the mug glass? Yes. where it would be like almost frozen and then they would pour it. It'd have to be like that or in a bottle because the can root beer did not taste the same. My favorite was the IBC. The yeah. The oh, that's right. That was the brand I loved. That was like top shelf. Yes. Cause of the glass bottle. Yeah. But yeah, the canned stuff just wasn't as good. And I was very picky too. I didn't like, um, um, water fountain. Oh, the water, I mean, uh, fountain drinks? The fountain drinks. I did not care for fountain drinks. They just never tasted right to me. I loved them. No, I was just like, oh, I don't want to, like, if you'd go to a convenience store and I'd look and all they would have is like mug or barks. And I was like, oh, and they would say, oh, you can also get a fountain drink. And I'm like, oh, that's even worse. So picky. I remember one time I went to the, uh, the convenience store and got the uh, a fountain drink. Took three, three or four sips, and it tasted flat. So I poured it out, made another one. Took up there and paid for it. That, that one tasted fine. I wanted to pay for it, and he started. He wanted to bill me for the first one because we well, just poured it out, so I had to charge you. So it didn't taste right, and he's just arguing with me. I said, "Oh yeah, that sounds cool." I just took the bottle, I set it down, and turned and walked out. <laughs> I said, "Well, fine, you get this one too then." Wow. What are you gonna do? Wrestle me? <laughs> Hold me down and make me pay for it? I would like to see that. Right. <laughs> uh, Shada said, hmm, bottle, not can. Right? Uh, Lisa said, my oldest son drinks Pepsi Zero. I'll grab one every now and then. I feel like it coats my teeth. Oh, that is it like thing. sweet? Even like pre-keto, anytime I drank Coca-Cola, uh -huh. if I drank too many of them, my teeth started hurting. That's weird. And it was only with Coca-Cola. Hmm. It didn't do it with any other... Uh, Wow. And then growing up, too, my stepmom used to go to, like, almost exclusively went to Kroger when she bought uh, her groceries. Uh-huh. And she used to buy their, their um, it's not special, okay? There's a, they have a, they have an, they have a Kroger brand cola, oh, soda. Oh, uh, yeah. Was it? I can't remember what it's called. But the red cream soda was my favorite. Oh, wow. Shauna said, we rarely had soda as a kid. It was hose water or nothing right and ghetto juice aka kool-aid <laughs> no 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 we didn't even have kool-aid we had the they had the uh the off-brand kool-aid oh gosh renee it was, was too was, expensive right renee said my favorite flavor kool-aid as a kid was the orange then the red always known as colors but mom bought the unsweetened envelopes yes see we i didn't get to grow up with kool-aid at all like my mom just didn't buy that at all she was like no you just drink water because it was free uh right family said banks are still bogo off at at vitamin shop oh yeah but they don't have the right flavor shauna said we don't have a vitamin shop anymore and then renee said they're out of stock for the whole lot of chocolate oh, i know i want to cry 22q cat said would would that be the kool-aid we'd make with about a cup of sugar per pitcher yes. it's a wonder we don't call and we don't all have really bad teeth and cavities, right. all that sugar, right? That's thing true. Mom would do, she would go to like the, the convenience store or whatever, right? Uh huh. They'd have like a, you know, buy three, get one free or whatever, three for a dollar or whatever it was. Here. I mean, I got to use the Whatever brand it was, she would buy those for the kids, and but she'd still get her Dr. Pepper. Oh. All right, let me see if I can read this screen here. You know, my eyes are still bothering me. Okay. We got Lisa over here. What did she say? We would have the cheap flavor on oh, it moved. The flavor aid, that's the one. Purple sources sor what? I can't read y'all. I'm sorry. Source Rex. Purple Source Rex. Okay, I got it. Was the best Kool-Aid flavor. I remember going to the the uh, convenience store too, and we called it a suicide, where you'd hit the fountain machine and you hit a little bit from each one. I don't know why, but that was just so awesome when I was a kid for us to do that. And then um, Renee says, uh, you were a lucky kid, Shauna. And then Shauna says, um, well, I guess so. Okay, y'all are just talking to each other now. Y'all, I'm about to mess this all up. Y'all see why Renee, uh, 
Oh, Shelly's so good at this. I didn't, I'm still learning this computer. The 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 um the mouse is a little too active. What does Renee say here? Mom never sugared it. Oh, why would you get unsweetened Kool-Aid? Oh, that sounds that's like to me that's that's child abuse. I'd rather drink water than the other stuff. Another one we always hated was Tang. I still say to this day that stands for this ain't no good. I was never a fan of that. See, and Wright family says. We ordered on the app. Chris liked some of the other flavors and ordered him two of them. Oh, nice. See, I'm just trying to catch up, y'all. I'm not skipping anybody on purpose. And, and Renee says, I still love that too. Jesus Christ. That's amazing. I used to love the lick em, stick em with the powder and uh, sour stuff. I used Kool-Aid powders when I ran out of the candy part. <laughs> wow. Let me see here. Yeah. I'm horrible at this. Okay, I'm coming. Well, you All need right. to trade because I got to go too and you got to let the dogs out, right? Well, you need to take them out. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to go read comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. Y'all ready to go? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sam, Sam, come here, buddy. Thank y'all for humoring me. <laughs> hey, y'all. Did he do good? I'm gonna go. I'll be right back. Uh oh. Well, they're not gonna go then if you're not taking them. Uh, they they know that if you don't take them like all the way out, then they'll just walk around the deck. So he did good, y'all. Sorry about that. Um. Let's see. What did I miss? Sherry said hot for the moment, but we are expecting some serious storms. Oh no! Worried about the winds. Hoping not like two weeks back, I ended up with a thousand dollar tree damage and ceiling fan destroyed on my porch. Oh no, Sherry. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully you'll be safe uh, tonight and this weekend with that. Well, I'm forever. How about your area? Um, our area here, it, it's been, I mean, we had a little bit of rain today, but nothing serious. No. Just enough to mess with the uh, the uh, receipt. Uh, Sana said, I'm a big couponer too since my 14 year old was a baby so long time. Oh, goodness. We're considered a true BOGO state here in Florida. So if I have a BOGO product coupon, the store has BOGO sale. Both items are free. Wow. That's nice. I don't know if we have that. Right family said we use Dove body wash and get some in the store with two dollar off coupon and three dollars off through Ibotta. We paid under two dollars. Wow, that's a deal. That's really good. Uh, Renee said my HB has twenty five percent off beauty, self care, face, body stuff. That's when I stock up. Right? Yeah, they do that. That is nice. And there, I'm trying to think. I feel like there's another one. Fetch will sometimes do certain things because I noticed they were most of theirs are like Amazon, but they'll also do some coupons for Costco. Like they were doing some of the collagen, but it was like, well, I never use uh, collagen, but I know they they Fetch was giving like certain points or full cash back if you bought some things at Costco. What was it that? The Fetch app. Oh, okay. So those are good to look at, too. Um, Shauna says, laugh out loud. Meanwhile, Renee has been home for at least an hour. Aw, I'm sorry. Um, oh, yeah, Renee grew up in Pensacola. Jackie said, a lot of people have uh, leave receipts because they are toxic. They contain... 250 to 1,000 times greater BPL levels than a can of food. What? Really? I don't know. What? Seems silly. Um, Renee said, he, that's no bueno to teach them to eat from your plate. Oh, there, uh, my coffee's still in here. Does that bother you? It didn't all get poured out. Drink it I'm not going to drink this cold coffee. So you don't like that coffee then? Not just cold and not just a little sip. You can pour it in my um if you no, I was gonna say pour it in the um 
Vitamix, and then that way I can drink it tomorrow. It literally is a sip. Um, Renee said, I would love that for sure. Maybe a meetup in the middle like NOLA. I know. We tried that. Somebody told us no. Purple Love and Nana said, I fix Kara her own plate if it's something I can share with her. No garlic or onions. Right. And that's what we generally do. As long as there's no, no garlic or onions, then we'll let them lick the plate. But then we do wash it in the dishwasher. My mom had a boyfriend for a while. And this man cooked his dog's dinner on the stove every night. Yeah. And then he had a formal living room. None of us kids were allowed to go in that formal living room, but the dog was allowed, and that's where he fed her. Well, you know. The dog was better than the kids. Renee said, Nola is so fun. Sana, you would love it. Yes. I was telling Renee the other day that if all goes well, I would love to go to Nola like around Halloween time. Tell him why. We have a thing. Well, yeah. So we have a, um, it's like timeshare. a timeshare, not future purchase. We got roped into doing this, but it's like a four day, three night thing that we can use in New Orleans. And I was like, oh, that'd be fun because that's around Renee's birthday. Maybe we could go there to NOLA at that time. So, um, but we wouldn't be able to stay like right in the, um, French Quarter, which is a little sad, but right. we can visit though. Yeah, we'd visit. Um, Renee said, "Sons of Pizza Hut, in my town still does the salad bar at lunch, but it's almost a ghost town now. They have so many complaints on the local Facebook pages. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you know what else we have here? We have a Mr. Gaddy's. Oh, right. Mr. Remember Gaddy's. the last time we went there for the buffet? It was yeah. not good. No." I remember that. Lisa said, I got a dumpling maker from Timu. Oh, how fun. I've been loving seeing y'all talking about your Timu orders. Yes. Renee said, that was supposed to be sauna. And don't know why it ended ages at the end. I don't know, Renee. She said, I used to love Wendy's salad bar. And sadly, I liked their chili back then, too. Oh. Remember, she's not a Texan. That's true. Uh. Shauna said, oops, I got distracted looking at a Kodak Prinomatic camera. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Renee said, smash that thumbs up, everyone. Thank you for that. Did you wash that off? Oh, yeah. it's a new one. Yeah. Ooh. Wash what off? I oh, saw the, the green. The, I oh, oh, yeah, the yeah. Other one. I was like, do you really want garlic mixed with this milk? No, no, I do not. Um, Sana said, I'm so hooked on Timu. I have a full shopping cart since last week's life. <laughs> See what you started? Uh, I See know. what you've done? I know. I, I do too, but I, I'm holding off for a little while. Keto Simple said that he makes Chandra's coffee every day too. I also do all the cooking. Aw, that's so awesome. See? You're not alone, he. And then he said, is Timu a new wish? Kind of. Kind of, um, but it sounds legit. But it, it seems like everything's just a little little bit uh, better quality so far, what I've been seeing. Um, let's see. And then Keto Simple said, I have not gone down that rabbit hole yet. We didn't have a good turnout with wish. Yeah, what I've heard with Timu so far is everybody, everything's going really well with that. But you know, I've already said yet. <laughs> Jennifer said, did you miss me? I had a friend in need on the phone. Yes, we did, Jennifer. I'm glad you're back now. Um, Melissa said, I placed my first order for Timu. It was supposed to be delivered Tuesday, but I'm still waiting. So, yes, it's like wish. Great prices. I look forward to checking out what I got. Well, y'all need to keep us updated. On what you get because um like i know shauna has been sending pictures of the stuff that she's beginning and renee as well like renee just got your first order today right the shoes i thought she said she just got the thing and said it was a shift i don't I, think it had arrived well i think she messaged me while we were live saying oh. she got our first shoe order here oh well what i filled your glass but i gotta move the straw so i can put the lid on it but I wanted you, I was going to hand it to you, but you're kind of busy. 
Yeah. Working on the important stuff. That's right. Uh, but yeah, I have a huge cart full on Timu, but I have not, I have not uh, bit the bullet yet because I just want to hold off a couple more weeks, see what goes on. When I get my paycheck with the raise, maybe I'll do it then, but we'll see. Oh, nice. What? I have exactly two keto bricks left over from the last batch. Because mm. y'all, I love doing them in this uh, little pucks. Oops. And know. if y'all seen my video where I made them when we had a bigger tray, it was metal. Those were good, but it was just a little frustrating trying to get them back out of there. Yeah. The, this is it, so much handier. Yeah, with the silicone base, that really... Helps only, pop them out. The only thing we have to worry about, though, sometimes we don't get this thing uh, all the way punched down, uh -huh. so then it only fills it halfway. Right. Nobody wants that. Oof. Okay. Mm. Here, you look at. I forget. I'm not crazy about the mint. Okay. Melissa said, "I placed my first order with Timu." It was supposed oh, oh, I read that one. The one short? Yeah. How did that sweet. work? I don't know. Keto Simple said, I was talking about he tried my hash browns, but spicy. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, because go see his video, y'all, because he did the hash browns in um, like a... Um, muffin tin. Like a, a little muffin tin. So they were like the mini... Yeah. Like disc type, like who? What restaurant does it that way? I thought it was a uh, Burger King. Oh, and I think also uh, Sonic, maybe little rings. Yeah, so that's what they were like. But yeah, jalapenos. Mm. But you know, we we always have to do everything spicy. Um. Ba, ba, ba. Keto Simple said, I wear pajamas to Walmart and I'll do it till I start getting noticed from YouTube. Ha ha ha. So forever. <laughs> but would that really make you stop? I mean, because if they recognize you from YouTube, are, you're going to be like, oh, never mind. Let me let me wear a suit and tie down. Nah, still be wearing it because then you'll probably get more people who will be like, look, I saw him. And they'll take pictures and then share it. And then more people will be like, oh, who's this dude wearing pajamas to Walmart? What do they call it? Unit, uh, unicorn? Wait, no, uh, YouTube famous. Right? <laughs> Carrie said, I could tell you stories, Heath and Shelly, about what I saw people wear when I worked at Walmart, especially when I worked the night shift. Oh, I bet. Well, that's why they had that whole page, people of Walmart. Right. Um, oh, I'm sure. 22Q Cat said, Timu has given me $20 in credit so far for being late, which is wow. nice. It'd be nice to get my orders too, though. It's been a while. Aw. They're like, um, thanks for the money, but can I just have what I wanted? Joanna says, I never wear shoes, only when I go out. Socks are my slippers. Yes. I just, uh, that's how I am. Like, and even going out, I just wear the bare minimum. Like, I just wear flip flops be because places say you have to wear shoes. Otherwise, I, I guess I'm kind of like a hobbit. Like, I would just be barefoot all the time, everywhere. Because he gets on me. Because, like, if we're going in the backyard, I'll just go out barefoot and walk through the grass and stuff. He's like, "Oh, you should have shoes on." Or, like, if I go in the garage or in the front yard, and he's like, oh, you need to put your shoes on. I'm like, I'm just going to go get the mail, or I'm just going to do this. And he's like, you should wear shoes. I'm like, ah, that's all right. Country. <laughs> Is it country? I'm just connecting to the earth. Uh-huh. <laughs> Renee said, I guess it was my mask. Free luck, right? Right? There you go. Uh, Sada said, I flip flops too if I go out, but inside and outside, I'm barefoot. See, see, thank you, Sana. We are like sisters from another mother because, like, come on, I don't want to wear shoes in my backyard. 
Why even have the backyard? And showers before bed, so never a problem. Exactly. That's I'm the same way. Well, I, I. So this is how it was. As I grew up, you know, in this house, and for seven years in Houston, Texas, we did not have air conditioning. Again, in this child house. abuse. Right. Um. Probably wouldn't fly nowadays, but back in the eighties. Uh, no, it won't. In this house now. Um. Seven years, no air conditioner. And so that's how I got used to taking cold showers before bed because that was the only way I could go to sleep. So I would have to take a cold shower and every night I wash my hair in cold water and then I would go to directly to bed. And then that's how I would fall asleep is because, you know, then I was at least cool until I could actually you know, fall asleep and then make it through hopefully the night. But yeah, that I, I just really conditioned myself to do that. So even now, I, no matter what, I have to take a shower before I go to bed or I would not be able to sleep. Like I remember in my 20s when, you know, your 20s, you're having fun stuff, right? So I go to the club, I get, you know, have a few drinks, get home. Or, you know, if I'm hanging out with friends or whatever, and I would be, like, drunk and, um, or pretty, I would say, tipsy. I would say tipsy enough where probably your average person would be like, oh, I'll just pass out on, on my bed. No, nope. I would get my tipsy butt in the shower and make sure I took my shower before I got in the bed. Because I was oh, like, I just cannot go to sleep without, level. huh? So that's another level. <laughs> because I couldn't go to sleep in my bed without that right. so that's how i always was that's just me and then taking a shower in the morning always feels so weird to me <laughs> what i've done it both ways i'm just, oh, oh we know he <laughs> i don't think he realized <laughs> uh -huh. i understood <laughs> yeah. no like when i tried to do that you know how people say oh you know it It'll, it's healthier when you start in the morning. It does uh -huh. this and that. And I tried that. I was like, this is horrible. <laughs> Just, I'm not a morning person at all. Like, at all. And so taking a shower first thing in the morning just feels like torture to me. So what time like, are you getting up tomorrow so we go take care of stuff? Oh, let's not talk about that yet. Uh, bluegrass grows We'll down. worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Right. I do make sugar-free root beer syrup and add to sparkling water. Oh. What? But to ferment, it has to have sugar carbs. It turns into alcohol, acids, and CO2. It can sweeten after fermenting, but too many carbs, in my opinion. Oh, that sucks. But I'd love to hear about your sugar-free root beer syrup. Yes. Jennifer said, um, MP... IK, money accepted, product delayed repeatedly, the wrong stuff sent. They wouldn't make it right. The next time, no product was sent. The two situations overlap, so they wouldn't get a second chance. Oh, no. I'm sorry, This on Timu? That's on Timu? That sucks. Uncle Big Guy said, have not had sodas for years. Cold turkey for 10 to 12 liters a day? Wow. Wow. But that's great. I mean, to go many years without doing it that's awesome jackie said i used to make mott eagle so sugary it was crunchy what is mott eagle um no i never heard of it um renee said that's a big accomplishment uh uncle big guy that is that very yeah it is i don't know if i can do that man right family said they put caffeine in sun kiss it's not much but if you don't want a kid to have it it might be too much oh i didn't know that wow uh, Shauna said, just cleaned off, uh, wiped down my craft area. Somehow pizza juice was all over. Wow. <laughs> Glad I moved my proje projects, uh, right? A messy pizza, huh? <laughs> Renee said, yeah, 40 milligrams for a 12-ounce serving of Sunkissed. Oh, wow. Jackie said, sorry, used to make my tea, oh, my tea so sugary it was crunchy. Oh, Wow. Wow, Jackie, that that is a lot of sugar. Carrie said, when I was a kid, I would go to the beach and my grandma would call it bug juice. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, Renee said, Barks has a little less caffeine, right? But 
I thought they were higher because I thought there was one brand that had was they were like the just normal. They were caffeine free, but I can't remember what brand it was now. Yeah, which brand was that? Uh, Shauna said, I've gotten so many fun, great deals for Timu. No scam for me, and I got my formal dress. Yay! Keto Simple said, I think all orange soda like Sunkist and Crush and such is cap is all caffeine free. Oh. Okay. What about uh knee high? Knee high? Yeah, you don't remember knee high? That was Radar O'Reilly's favorite drink. Was a grape knee high. Oh, okay. Uh, Sana said, Heath, so low, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I know, right? It was scary. <laughs> I don't know who scared more, me or y'all. Which one is this that you're drinking? <laughs> you're drinking a monster this late? <laughs> Kazoo time. Sorry, y'all. What flavor? <laughs> I don't remember. It's just pink. It, it's the, the bright pink can, the magenta can. Oh, God. Ultra Rosa. Oh, Let's man. See. Are you okay over there? No, I don't know what happened. Sorry. It's like this, like, sweet, sweet. and like this. It's almost like a raspberry. It's almost like a citrus raspberry, like yeah. a raspberry lemon almost. Yeah, that's good. Like, like you it. get the raspberry, but then there's like this sour citrus in note. I like it though. Not a fan. <laughs> Renee said many sodas are 40 to 50 milligrams for 12 ounce. Wow. Milligrams of what? Uh caffeine. She goes, mm -hmm. but Sudkiss Barks AW have caffeine. Have caffeine. Okay. Uh, Keto Simple said, oh, wow, I guess they do have caffeine. He said, Sunkiss 19. I was today years old, right? Joanna said, I'm going to have to run, guys. Still have a workout to do. This was fun. Thanks. Have a good Thank night. You. Thanks for good joining night. us, Joanna. <sighs> have a good weekend. I'm still full. Right Family said, the Honest Company is doing reward points now, oh, too. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Renee said, not enough to rev up a kid, really, if they have the sugar-free one. Oh. Goodness. Keto Simple said, Gulf Shores meetup sounds fun, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Or yeah. just New Orleans meetup? Oh, right. Like, I don't know what. I would definitely want to do a ghost tour in New Orleans. Oh, yes. And maybe a cemetery tour. And, oh, like, just think about how much fun that would be. I want to eat oysters there again. Oh, oh. yeah. Because y'all, we found this one. I don't remember where we found it at. You know, because we were always researching restaurants and stuff. And one site made a list of the best restaurants to go get oysters at. And well, instead of doing the tour, I just copy pasted. That was it in we, Char No, that was in Savannah. That was. I thought that was in New Orleans. Uh, uh. Oh. That was in Savannah. We but, walked to all of them. But what we did though, instead of actually taking the tour, I just copy pasted them all, and we did it on our own. <laughs> yes, that was so much better. We just knew what to order. Yeah. But I thought that was also where we found out that one uh, oyster place there in New Orleans. Mm -mm. Which one? Are you talking about Felix? <sighs> yeah, that one, and there's that one, one other was one. Good. Uh, um, Acme. Acme yeah. I thought that was from that from that list. I thought it was a, there was a list of like the best or whatever. That well, was well, there is a list. I of know, the but best I thought oysters. it was one of the tours too, though. I I don't remember. Yeah. Maybe, but yeah, we did Acme. Yeah. But there's one that starts with like a D, right? Oh yeah. Uh, we did theirs, and and I think Felix was was like my favorite one yeah. though. Um, oh, it's so good. And New Orleans is so easy to walk the yes. French Quarter. Like yes. the last couple of times we went there, of course, we stayed in the French Quarter and we just walked around, even when it was hot, y'all. And I was like, oh, like I got sweat in places I didn't know sweat could be. Hmm. But it was still fun walking around. One of my favorite memories of New Orleans, this is how much this woman loves me. We went to New Orleans for her birthday. I know. We went to this one um, antique shop. And we found two autographed Metallica covers. I mean, um, albums. albums. And she bought them for me on her birthday, y'all. I know. Because that's my favorite band. They're hanging up on my wall of uh, my Hall of Fame right now. Uh huh. 
I'm so well, she's pretty nervous. proud of them too, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It was a really cool shot because they had like all kinds of memorabilia, uh -huh. like um, album covers, um, even some um, like um, was it um, guitars and different yeah. things. Not and like from not just Metallica, like all, well, different, all different all different kinds artists. of musicians. Yeah, all different musicians, but it was a really cool shop. That's what I love about New Orleans because you just never know what you're going to find. And the street and, performers, too. I know because I am like a, a huge people watcher. Mm -hmm. So I love, like, I find it very enjoyable, like, when I go to Renaissance Fair and stuff, just to find a nice place to sit and just watch people. And I'm just like, oh, so amazed with people. Like, I just love it. And New Orleans is like the best place to people watch because yeah. you're just like, I mean, you get your tourists there, but just watching the other people, you're like, oh, this is gold. This is gold. Like, so much fun. Um, Jennifer said, you get the waffle butt. Yes. Yes. Keto Simple said, it's a 12 hour drive to Gulf Shores, but we really like going there. Well, 12 hours isn't too bad. Where? Gulf uh, Shores, what is this exactly? I guess it's in Florida, right? Oh, okay. Uh, Jennifer said, we had a local hardware that kept the Coke machine cold enough for perfect slushy frozen Coke. Oh, wow. Oh, how nice. Shawna says she's got two more Timu orders on the way. Look at you go. Uh, Renee said, yep, raised the South, raised in the South by Northerners, and Dad put beans in his chili and served it over macaroni. I've served, since learned better. Right now, that is one thing, even though like my mom's California, well, you know, but it, what's funny, though, I say they're both northerners, but my mom's parents were both southerners. But my father, his mother was a southerner, but his father was Canada, U.S. So like mixed there. But whenever my mother, I don't remember her making like chili alone but she would make chili spaghetti and she just always told me it's chili spaghetti and i thought everybody made chili spaghetti and for years people were like what 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 are you talking about i'm like you know where you get beanless like no bean chili and you pour it over spaghetti noodles and then you drizzle it with some cheese and onions and a lot of like i mean nobody i ever knew had heard of it until i was like probably in my late 20s that people were like oh is that like cincinnati chili and i was like cincinnati chili what's that yeah so my mom who you know told me oh this is chili spaghetti i I created this. I'm like, did you? And then later on, she's like, yeah, I heard about they did it in, in Cincinnati. And I went there and I remember eating it. And I, she got like some kind of orange Julius. And she was like, and I just remember it was so good. So I just, I didn't know it was called. So chili spaghetti. I'm like, oh, all this time, y'all, all this time. But that's what we ate. So we never had like a bowl of chili. Wow. Remember that I still argue with my mom about chili because she says it belongs. She puts beans in her chili. She was raised in Texas, and she's like, "Look, that's the way you grew up on 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 it." So you you ate it back then. I was like, "Yeah, I was at your house. You were cooking for me. I didn't have a choice. It's either that or go hungry." Right. I said, "But now that I'm older, I know better, so I do better." <laughs> <laughs> and you can't tell me to go to my room now. <laughs> Bluegrass girl said, I've ordered a few dresses, love them, and I ordered things for my business. Oh, have fun. Wow. Shauna said, some lip stuff, kitchen things, a bunch of metal dyes for crafting, peacock color changing eyes. Oh, wow. What? Okay, I need the link to the color changing eyeshadow. That sounds really cool. Trippy. Um, yeah. <laughs> but another dish my mom used to make a lot growing up. At least I remember it anyways. I've made it for you one time. We did it before pre-keto. was that one salad. Oh, I know. It was really good, y'all. I thought it was anyways. But you took a whole head of lettuce. You diced it up. Diced up the tomatoes and threw it in there, too. Then you took a can of ranch-style beans, drained off all the juices. Poured that in there. Threw in a, a handful, a big uh, helping of uh, shredded cheese. Fritos. And then Catalina dressing. I just thought it was amazing. And what do you mean? 
the beans. Oh. I'm sorry. Remember, I grew up on food stamps. They did. <laughs> but it was tasty. Remember, I used to love Fritos too, though. But do you remember you loved Catalina dressing? Yeah, I did. I never liked that. I did. I, I, I'm, I sound like I'm very picky. And I that really does. Think I am that picky, but yeah. Yeah, listening things, back, you are, Shelly. I know. There's like certain things. Like, I never cared for Catalina dressing. I never liked ranch. Uh -huh, I loved it. Always did. Uh, I love blue cheese. Uh, see, before keto, I didn't, though. Now I, I, now I love it. I love blue cheese, or my favorite was actually just olive oil dressing. See, I never liked that either. An olive oil dressing. Like, I love a vinaigrette dressing yeah. on a salad. That's my my favorite to put on a salad. And I also, my favorite pre-keto was Thousand Island. Yeah, I know. I remember growing up, my mom would make uh, the poor Thousand Island. Make her she, own? Yeah, she would always make her own. Like, if we... I, I think she made it when she would do the catfish uh -huh. bites. I think she would make that. And she would do her homemade um, uh, tartar. Tartar, yeah. She would do those too. Everything was all, well, we're not going to buy tartar in a can. That's expensive. What I thought was funny too when I worked at Whataburger. Uh -huh. The mayonnaise, uh -huh. it came in a bag, a, a big plastic bag. And you cut it open and squeezed it out into the container. But it said right on there, salad dressing on it. It never said mayonnaise. So it's like Miracle Whip. I guess. That's that's really yeah. sad. But see, pre-keto too, I liked the Miracle Whip too. I know you did. You or or was the other one I got, the sandwich spread. Oh. That stuff was good. It had the pickles in it and everything. I'd never eaten that stuff until I got with Heath. And he was like, this is the best stuff ever. That was, was my like, favorite thing to put on sandwiches. I was like, I always buy mayonnaise. And he's like, oh, no, you got to get the, uh, what is it, whip? What is it called again? Miracle Whip. Miracle. I was like, I've never had that. He's like, it's so good. And I tried it. I was like, mm -mm, no, give me my mayonnaise. You can. <sighs> You could have that. <laughs> you know, we need to make another batch of. We haven't made it in a while. Huh? Your harissa mayo. Oh, that stuff that is was so good. good. Jonathan, oh. Jonathan, oh my gosh! I do that on the on the uh, on the shrimp. Oh yeah. Shauna said three really cute tank tops for the cruise. Oh, I'm not God. wearing them. Uh, Sarah said, on average, Team U is at your door within ten to fourteen days. And she's ordered eight times now. That's wow. Awesome. And eight victories. I mean, you now you yeah. got good. That's awesome. Shauna said, same here. And when my order didn't go out in time, they gave me a $5 credit. Wow. Because you can order half the store for five bucks. I know. Renee That's said, awesome. I got my slides and necklace. Necklace is real silver and solid heavy charm for $2. How that are they doing a, this? A, oh, Gulf Shores is in Alabama. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wonder how they do it so cheap, y'all. It's off the back of a truck. It's right there next to the dog food. <laughs> uh, I mean, right family said Hardy's does it too. Um, I think the little heart, hash browns. Oh, and okay. Renee said Hardy's was my first official job. Wow. Oh, wow. Jennifer said Kool-Aid was a treat for us. My favorite was grape and cherry combined. Oh. Wow. Rye family said Elizabeth will wear PJs to Walmart, but she's 19 and they are allowed. <laughs> right? So I think the closest thing I have to Kool-Aid now would be the Zip Fizz. Yeah, probably. Shauna said, oh, I got a universal hair dryer diffuser. Wow. Oh, wow. Purple Love and Nana said, good night, everyone. Good night. Have a good weekend. You too, Debbie. Jennifer said, I love Tang Hot. I don't know. I think I kid. had Tang, Tang maybe once or twice. Not the kid. Uh, Renee said, I wear PJs anywhere around town, but I live in a beach town, and they aren't like actual PJs, capri pants, and an oversized tee or sweatshirt or flannel pants. Wow, yeah, that's not PJs. Um, I mean, that seems appropriate, like a t oversized tee and a capris. I mean, isn't that just everyday wear? What was that one juice I used to buy all the time? That had like tangerines, pineapple, and bananas in it. I don't know. Rye family said, Elizabeth made fun of me when I was pregnant. She said, Mom, you're literally barefoot and pregnant in the South. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love that. 
Lisa said, Tay gives me sweat uh, sweater teeth. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe I haven't tried it then. You don't want it. Renee said, yeah, I never liked Tang saying with the sweater teeth. This ain't no good. <laughs> oh. Jennifer said, when we were sick, Mom made us hot jello water. Oh, wow. Somehow, Doc's had her convinced we needed sugar if we didn't feel like eating. Oh, my gosh. Hot jello water. Oh, that sounds awful. Renee said, Tang and Sunny D were always blood. Yeah, I yes, never I never liked Sunny D either. I never got why people would go crazy about They were like, Sunny D, Remember, Sunny I, D. I used to love uh, <sighs> orange juice, but I wanted the pulp free. Oh, no, I like the pulpy no. ones. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Again, I don't like the floaties. And Jennifer said she never tried Sunny D. Well, you, you have were not missing. missed anything. Like, I tried it because, you know, everybody was like, it's so good, Sunny D. And I was like, what? what is it? It's like, it's like flavored water trying to taste like orange juice, but not. What's and that like one somebody drink? Somebody who's never had an orange what's, tried to make an orange juice. What's that one can drink? Right, if I say they walk it past the orchard. You're talking about LaCroix. Yeah, it's kind of like LaCroix. That's what I imagine Sunny D is. <laughs> um, and Renee said, same fake citrus taste. Like, it's just so weird. Uh, Melissa said, I have to shower in the morning. I sweat at night. My curly hair needs to be wet to do anything. Oh. I'll rinse off before bed, too, though, especially in the summer. I, yeah, because it gets so hot in the summer. Another well, reason why. Makes I, sense if you want to straighten your hair. All right. I'll say another reason why you don't like taking it in the uh, shower in the morning. Uh -huh. Something requires you getting up earlier to get ready. <laughs> I know. And you see, like, my hair is so flat. Like, well, actually, it does get wavy after. After I first wash it, uh -huh. it will be wavy. Because y'all, she has to go to work at 8 a.m. I've seen her sleep until 7.45 and then crawl into the job. Yeah, definitely. This is another reason why I have to make a coffee in the morning. Yeah, because I'm coming here and I'm like, okay, I just need to get my coffee and walk right in there and get to work. <laughs> she'll go in and a lot of times she'll go into the office, turn her computer on, you know, start logging in before she even tells me good morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jennifer said they now sell Sunny D, Sunny D mixed with vodka. Oh no! Yeah, I'm with Renee. Oh, oh. Can, just, can I just have the vodka? Try that. Can I just have the vodka? Right. Why are they work? Why are they messing with a perfectly good vodka? Lisa said, "Can we bring energy drinks on the cruise?" I don't know. Um, you well, it's you're only allowed. What is it? Twelve like a pack of 12 per cabin up to, I think it's like, was it, I can't remember. It's 12 ounce or 20 ounce each oh, yeah. one. So I could kind of bring so these. I think you could up to a certain amount of them. Uh, because we did last year. Remember, we brought the Celsius for you. Oh, that's right. Because um, so maybe I will bring some. Yeah, in Orlando, we could only get the um, Celsius. They didn't have the bangs there, so we brought. Um, I think we ended up bringing twelve of them on oh. their cruise ship. I thought something. I don't don't I quote like me. But y'all, I, I never even so had a monster. I always thought there was sugar in it until we went to KetoCon last year, and they were oh. giving them away. So now, I, I mean, you can see it right here, too. It says zero sugar right there on it. So that's all I'd buy now. And I double check because what I've done uh, for Monster and Bang, because they have a lot of them with sugar, when I always buy the case of them, either at a Sam's or uh, Costco, but I flip it over and I take a picture of it so I can read the fine print on it and make sure there's no sugars in it. Right, right. Well, that yeah, we don't have much longer until KeoCon now, y'all. So, March is almost over. We only have another week of March, y'all. Yeah. One week left of March. I like, know. I'm excited. How, this year, it like I know I say this all the time, but it's seriously, flying. the first quarter of the year is basically a done uh -huh. with. Uh, Renee said, also growing up in Florida and having real fresh OJ probably had uh, something to do with my distaste for off orange drinks. Right. Well, that's why we're going back to earlier talking about Dr. Pepper. I hated all fake Dr. Peppers. Mr. Pibb, Dr. K, all that stuff. Right. That's what it was. The Kroger Sola, Cola, Colas or Sodas was Big K. Oh, that's right. That's the their brand was Big K. That's right. Uh, right well, what I liked about them, too, they came in three-liter bottles instead of two. 
right there we said that's a lot more sugar than i thought they had oh a lot more caffeine oh goodness right uh lisa said bless you and then renee said ow the sorry sneeze. i'm sorry and then sada said bless you heath now Thank that you. was a sneeze oh my jeez that that was an hour ago what did we're way behind again 20 minutes uh, Renee said, no, nah, I'm pretty sure that was a grizzly bear mating call. <laughs> well, he has been called a bear before. <laughs> well, I mean, she did respond to it, so. <laughs> uh, Sada said, I've never had oysters. Oh. Wow. In Florida, you've never had oysters? Oh, I love oysters. The only thing I don't like, I don't like fried oysters. There's not a yeah. fan of them. Yeah, but raw said, oh, or grilled, they're they're amazing. They are so good. Or whenever Renee came over, brought us some, and we oh, smoked them. Yeah, those were really good. Jeez, Lisa said for sure a haunted tour in New Orleans. Okay, no. book it. Let's go. Renee said Acme Oyster House for Nola. Yeah, we went that was one. But the one was, was the one with the D. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like Damien's or something like that. One said I love oysters, especially fresh on the coast. Yes. I mean, they're so good. All and right. when we went a couple weeks ago um, to Good Company Fish Camp, uh -huh. and we had their oysters, they were nice, fatty Yes, oysters. they were. They were big and fatty. It was so good. What? Nothing. Oh. I'll say, let's go have oysters tomorrow. <laughs> Donna said, I almost did once, but when I was told I had to swallow it back whole, laugh out loud, I was like, um, no, nah, I'm good. But that's the way to do it. Yes. Because to me, if you take an oyster and try to bite it, it, it just it's too messy yeah it you end up wearing it <laughs> yeah it's just not good that way it, the best is to just take the whole thing yeah oh it is just so good it's so good renee said their oyster shot is so good like a mini bloody mary with a raw oyster uh -huh. oh lisa wants to know which albums you got signed i mean you can go get them uh, you would have pulled down and bring them in if you want all right uh, Melissa said, haunted tours in New Orleans have got to be great. My fiance would never go with me, though. He tells me only white people do stuff like that, but he'll support me for other things. <laughs> wow, that's true. That's true. We, See, we I'm the only thing I'm confused about, though. Oh? Well, because one of them is also the name of an album, but it's also the name of a song. Oh, okay. Well, because it's Ride the Lightning, which is also the name of the album. And it's also the song, but then I also got Creeping Death, which is the single. So I think it's, I guess they're both the singles. Oh, okay. Wow. But that is those two. Okay, awesome. Renee said, I did a couple haunted night walk tours and cemetery tours in NOLA. So much history and stories. I know. I just love New Orleans. The only caveat to those albums, though, is it's with their, uh, I guess, technically. You can say the second or the third bassist. Because you got Jason Newstead's signature instead of um, Cliff Burton, oh, that's who died. Right. He was on that tour when he died. Oh, Jackie said, I love chili anyway, except with cinnamon. Oh. Um, Melissa said, when I lived in Ohio, there was a jazz festival in an old cemetery that was really cool. Wow. My friends and I... Checked out a bunch of places that were supposed to be haunted, too. Wow, that sounds really neat. That is pretty neat. That would be really cool. Uh, do you hear that? The sound, you know what that kind of sounded like? The mosquito truck. No, to me, it sounded like the ice cream truck. Oh. That was weird, y'all. That is. Uh, Sana said, but he never refuses to watch horror movies with me. Yeah, because we're saying like that, the wall right here is uh, faces the street. That's the our kitchen the window. Street. The main street, the main drag coming in in our neighborhood. So that's probably, we heard them coming down the road just then. Two Fix MJ, hey. hey. Howdy, howdy, howdy. So Pre-keto, I told my husband about Catalina dressing. We used to put it on fries. Mm -hmm. Now he uses it on a salad, and I wince about the sugar in it. My fault. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, because it is kind of... But uh, can't you make, like, a sugar-free version of it? Uh, Lisa said, best-made sandwich spread. 
you guys. That, yep, I think that might have been the brand. You I don't got, remember right? if it was the brand or not. All, all I remember is I got the whatever's on sale. Mm -hmm. I used to buy store brand a lot too. Renee said, I learned about the White Witch when I went to Jamaica. The oh. White Witch. So what's that? Mm -hmm. Um Lisa said, my order had to clear customs. I bet it's coming from China. Oh, probably. probably. Wow, is it really 10 o'clock already? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Renee said, I thought the same, Lisa, because in the tracking came through customs, but origin on bag I got today was Canada. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, it might be easier or cheaper to ship to Canada than to here. Right. I don't know. Uh, Jennifer said, there's apparently lies out there. I've read 41 grams caffeine and sunkissed, and now I'm finding 19. They aren't both right. Oh, that's weird. Can you find screenshots of the can? And she says, M pick a can would be 12 ounce and bottle around 16. It still doesn't add up. Right. Jackie said, they sell a few energy drinks, too, on the cruise. Yeah, but we don't want to have to pay for things. All right. We're already paying for the cruise. And I'm honestly, I don't really find them that beneficial for energy. I just like the flavors. Which, it's, huh? yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, well, you're already getting the drink package. So. Right. But I just like the flavors. And this is the closest thing I get to the fruit because I really do miss fruit. I especially loved uh, tropical fruit. Yeah. Shauna said, who had to go and say, Timu, I can't shop, stop shopping now. <laughs> That's one thing I didn't uh, uh, kind of off-putting for me about Bang. They have too many crazy flavors. Lisa said, I got some ZOA from Costco. They were $5 off. Maybe I'll bring those. I'm on Timu looking for peacock eye eyeshadow. Yes. Wow. Uh, well, let us know what you think about the ZOA. Isn't I've never had it yet. One by The Rock? I think, but I don't remember for sure. Uh, right Family said, it's all of the older gardeners. They are hurrying it up to start planting oh. laugh out loud oh well jennifer said you're all talking timu but avoid nevit they're a total scan i haven't heard of nevit nevit however you want to say that um oh look did we cut caught up wow that's because you made me read the comments <laughs> lisa those are so cool and oh she said yes it's the rock zoa and she said, it's okay. It has a diet soda flavor. Oh, okay. Oh, so you think you would like it? I don't know. Would you buy them again, Lisa? Or are you kind of like, well, it was good with the coupon. Right. <laughs> I love those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, it's like I used to say, too. My favorite beer was free and free light. <laughs> oh, I know. And we still got the... Uh, remember, Costco is still doing $4.40 off of the... Uh, Tetons. Uh huh. So that I'll put, was I'll, one of the ones I bought today. I put them straight in the freezer. Okay, good. So we got the, and then you said uh, it was 18 pack eggs for $3.99. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wright family said that Chris didn't like the ZOA. Okay. Yeah. I just, I'm not going to drink it, but I was thinking for him. Yeah. But they seem a little pricey yeah. compared to like Bang or Monster mm -hmm. and stuff. And that's what I go towards, honestly, is whatever's cheaper. And that's another reason why I wasn't buying the Monster, because because I want to say that uh, when I was buying the Bang at Sam's, it was like $32 or something like that, but then the Monster was like 36 Yeah. So that's why I went with the Bang. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lisa said she did it because it was under a dollar a can. Now, that's oh, a pretty good buy. For this size? Yeah. Yeah, of the Zoas. At H-E-B, because I didn't even see that. No, I think I at Costco. Oh, at Costco. Oh, I didn't even see I thought, those. I didn't even see those. But that's what. Yeah, at Costco. They were five dollars off. Okay. Hmm. I didn't even look for them. Yeah. Well, definitely double check. I think somebody posted in the low carb cruise group about the uh, limits on what you could bring as far as the drink, the drink package. Oh no. What? Keto Simple said, Zoa tasted like how hot dog or hot how, dog water? No, oh. how dog food smells. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, That's very descriptive. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, there you go. We said, the Zoa are not my fave, but I like to have energy drinks that are like light on the caffeine because the older kid likes to drink them. Cans are smaller. So they're kind of like oh. the, 
the Celsius Then I don't cans. like it. I don't like it then. No? I don't think it's worth, worth it. Well, plus it tastes like how dog food yeah. smells. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, Dwayne. I ain't doing it. <laughs> um, you raise your eyebrow all you want. I don't care. Because the Celsius cans are the skinnier yeah. cans, and that's why you didn't like them. And the you didn't like the Zevia ones either. No. Remember, they have their energy yeah. drinks. I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah. Well, they're kind of pricey, and mm -hmm. they're skinnier. Yeah. I'm buying like a, a tall. I want an actual tall boy. <laughs> uh, Keto Simple said, "I really wanted to like them. I'm a huge fan of The Rock. Yeah, 100. percent Have you seen the TV show The Young Rock? Oh yeah, that's actually that's pretty good. Show. I wonder if they've done another. Season. I know, but I need to look it up and see. We're so behind. Yeah. We just finished season three, right? We're on season four now yeah. of Heroes. Yeah." We watched two more episodes tonight. We actually, were, we got uh, almost done with one episode, and we we decided we we're probably going to run late if we finished watching it. Well, we tonight. finished one episode. We <laughs> almost finished the second. Yeah. Yeah. So we finished season three finally of Heroes. It was like 25 episodes, y'all, for that one season. I felt like that. That just hurt. That was too much. And then, so we're starting season four. I, I think I'm almost at my breaking point. No, honestly. we got this season and one more. And then we're done. And then we get to move on to something else. And then, oh, you know what we need to watch? Some of the Star Wars ones. Okay, I'm good with that. The yeah. Mandalorian. Yeah, one of them, yeah. Um, I finally finished uh, Heart of Dixie. And I'm going to be honest, y'all. I started fast forwarding. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, because when I got finally got to I think the beginning of season three, I'm like, this is just the. I was never a soap opera fan, and I'm like, this is just too much of a soap opera. Like everybody's with everybody now. Like, okay, well we broke up. Now I'm gonna date this person over here, but then I still want you. But then I want that person, and then that person wants over here. But we're going to date each other. Oh, no, we're not dating. Okay, now I want you back. Oh, never mind. I'm going to go date this other person. And just because I was I was just getting tired of it. I was sorry. I was getting tired of that. So I fast forwarded until we got to the end. And then I was like, okay, now it's over. <laughs> oh, you know what we actually need to watch next? What? We can finish Better Call Saul. There's only one season and we're done. Yeah. Sana said, take it. Uh, 11, 13 here and brain is blah. Huh. Keto Simple said, we watched all two seasons of Young Rock. Yeah, I think we watched both seasons yeah. too. So the new season's not out yet? Yeah, okay. I guess not. Sana said, oh, I forgot to mention, I was watching something the other night about Devil's River in Texas. Oh. So absolutely beautiful. I'd love to go there. Is that the place that we heard about where we got remember. our um this little uh the the keypad not the keypad the, the uh, mouse, pad. mouse pad was that near Devil's River? Maybe oh, do you still have the little sticker on the back of it? Yeah, but it's in my office. Yeah, so I know, but um I have to look that up. That sounds interesting. Yeah, there are some beautiful places here in Texas if you're an outdoorsy person. Oh, speaking of TV shows, have any of y'all seen the new? The rever the the newer version of a uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, that was actually pretty good. It does take a little bit to get into it. To get into it, it it's because I think if you go in thinking it's just like the Fresh Prince original remade, yeah. then you're not going to like it's it. It's a new uh, what do they call it? A uh, a retelling of that story, right? It's a modern definitely. version retelling modern and it's version. not as funny actually no. it's not it's, it's more drama than it is comedy yes Jackie but it's says, actually pretty good though our deluxe packages are paid for so drink price worry laugh out loud what wow you got the deluxe package wow wow that's good um Sana said the water was like Caribbean clear. Ooh. Well, you know what, though? If I have the drink package, I don't need to bring any of these. That's, That's just, true. That's just, what just I was why. just saying. Yeah, yeah. Do that. No. Uh, Dustin said, we didn't see that because we don't have that service. I oh. thought it might be good. Not so comedy. Oh. It was. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I see them all. Uh -huh. But... Um, I guess. Is there anything? The else? new Night Court's good too. Yeah, we the did enjoy the new the new Night Court. That's cute. It's like a cute little 
break. You know, yeah. like sometimes you just need a filler show. Yeah. And it's either King of the Hill. Yes. Or we'll do the Night Court or something. And you know what I'm mad about? Like I wanted to rewatch Shit's Creek. Uh huh. But on Amazon, it only lets me watch the first episode for free, and I ain't gonna pay for nothing. I don't pay even for on anything. Amazon Prime. Yeah, they still charge you for it. Only the first episode is free. Why? Because I, the rest of it was moved to Hulu, so you uh, have to pay. And garbage. I don't, pay I don't pay for nothing. Garbage. I know. Because uh, that's what I'd love to watch all day, like while I'm working. Because it's, it's such a, a genius show. Like my coworker and I. We talk about Schitt's Creek. We reference, we use the memes uh -huh. from Schitt's Creek, everything. Because, I mean, it was just the perfect show. Uh, Jennifer said, getting around with luggage will be enough challenge for me. I'm not packing drinks, right? But luckily, if you're taking all the shuttle with the cruise ship, all you'll have to carry around is just whatever you're doing as you're carry on. Yeah. Sherry said, what about the company Sheen? Um, oh, what good night, it? right, family? Good night. I've ordered from Sheen before. It? It, it It's like another low cost. Um, okay. I didn't have any bad experience with it. What I find <laughs> is the clothes and stuff just run very small. So you have to, like for me, I sized up two sizes. Wow. Just because I wanted to make sure that it, fit? it would fit. Because they, you know... That's what I tend to find on Sheen. But I got the the package pretty quick, and everything was like it was advertised. Um, and there's actually channels that will do a Sheen haul. Oh, wow. So if you like doing that kind of stuff. You know, Simple said, I want to watch the new Night Court. It's good. It really is. Uh, Sherry said, the thunderstorms with Tornado Watch is happening. Get it off here. Good night. Good night, Sherry. But with Night Court. The only uh, character and actor that is still on there from the original is Dan Fielding. Yeah. Jennifer said, I'm a big fan of Night Court. Yeah, yes. it's cute. Lisa said, I got to hit the gym early tomorrow. I'm going to hit the hay. Y'all have a good weekend. Good night. I'll try peak tomorrow during the cook vlog. I have another club meeting, so I may not. Oh, Aww. miss you. <sighs> Keto Simple said, we're huge fans of Bob's Burgers. I've never now, seen that. Yeah, we have not seen that. Why are you throwing another show at me? <laughs> it's going to bed soon. Long day tomorrow. Driving Jackie and Jennifer to the Ohio meetup. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Y'all have fun. Yes. We're going to call it a night. It's okay. Enough. Now I got to go take this stuff to the street. Yeah, that's right. Because okay. y'all, the uh, recycling folks have been messing with me the last couple of weeks. I've been saving all my boxes from Zevia, filling the stuff up, folding the box, you know, leaving the box folded up, put it out there, and they won't take it. So I had to break, empty it, break the box down, and see if they take it tomorrow. Yeah. But thank you all so much, and have a wonderful weekend. Yes. And have safe and have so much fun, everybody going to yes. the Ohio meetup tomorrow. Tell everybody hi for us, yes. please. Yes. Tell everybody Wish them our hi. love. Sure. And tell them, hey, yo. That's right. Share lots of photos. Yes. I like want to see everybody. So please do that. And no, we're be jealous. Safe, go in there. Have a great weekend. Well, um, just Jason might be doing a, his live tomorrow, but for sure, Matreya Radical Geek will it's be Sunday. on live Sunday at 6 30 Central. So make sure you tune in. Yes. Bye, y'all. Good night. Bye.